in
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين ثم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب إله العالمين أبا القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الصادقين الغر الميامين لا سيما بقية الله في الأرضين وحجته على الخلائق أجمعين طاووس أهل الجنة ومهدي هذه الأمة القائم المنتظر المهدي فداه أرواح العالمين حجي قاسم فهد Director of إمام حسين TV دكتور سيد عمار نقشواني شيخ رحمان شيخ فاضل الخطيب شيخ خوش بيان سيد عبد المنعم السوداني سيد صلاح الجيزاني our dear guest أم البنين مرالي ملا مير حسن مير الحاج مصطفى مسعود ملا علي فاضل the other esteemed scholars in the audience my respected elders my dearest youngers my brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته for those of you who don't know, that was a Khoja introduction to make sure that anyone here um, who is Khoja who feels at home, inshallah, from that introduction. Uh, that was my best attempt. I was expecting Sayyid Ammar in the audience to shout out how long. Um, for those of you that don't know the relevance of that joke, inshallah, later on, there'll be a video explaining that for you. Um, my name is Haidar Al-Qazaz. It is my absolute honor to be the host, the master of ceremonies for tonight's event. A very, very special event. The first ever Imam Hussein TV gala dinner in London. And on that note, please give us a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Absolute blessing, as I mentioned, to be the host. And of course, the blessing of today as we are gathering and celebrating the birth of our awaited savior, Imam Al-Mahdi Abdullah Ta'ala Farajah Al-Sharif. We pray to Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala to re re hasten his reappearance and inshallah uh, grant us to be side by side with the Imam, my brothers and sisters. In a narration, and we'll start inshallah with a hadith from Imam Al-Sadiq Alayhi salam who says, Surely the possessor of this command, in reference to Imam Mahdi, the possessor of this command will go into an occultation. So the servant, you and I, brothers and sisters, should have consciousness or taqwa of Allah during that period of occultation and should hold firm to his religion. It's made clear for us that during the ghaybah, the occultation of the imam, we must hold firm to our religion. And what better way to hold firm in this difficult life, these seas of difficulties uh, and corruption that we live in at the moment, what better way than to hold on to the Ark of Salvation, Safina al Najat, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. Today we have come together to renew our pledge to Imam al Mahdi and our allegiance to our awaited Savior by ensuring we are propagating the message of his great grandfather, Imam al Hussein, and of course fulfilling our duty to spread the beautiful message by supporting the amazing channel that you'll find more about today or more, more about on. Of course, Imam Hussein TV. Uh, as a, as a uh, beginning, just to let you know, we have a very jam-packed um, uh, event and lineup for you today. Unfortunately, um, Iraqi organizers being Iraqi organizers, we're already running late, so inshallah, I'm going to try and talk as minimal as possible. Um, I was going to say there are starters on their table, uh, so please tuck in, but everyone's already eating, so that's absolutely fine. Um, and also, as a side note, every table should have a QR code. Okay, so to let you know what that is, essentially it will give you the brochure for tonight's uh, event, for the gala dinner. You'll have a brief summary about the channel and the work that Imam Hussein Media Group does. You will have the list of the auction items. 
the raffle prizes, how to donate, and of course, most importantly, the menu for the rest of tonight. Before we move on, I'd also like to mention our sponsors for tonight, God bless them, namely the Imam Hussein Charity and also local PCR. So the Imam Hussein Charity is a project set up to help different Shia communities around the world. They work continuously throughout the year, helping widows, orphans, impoverished families in the likes of Iraq, Syria, Afghanistan, other areas as well. And inshallah, they have a Ramadan package which aims to provide water, food, shelter, and medical aid. So please look out for that. And our second sponsor, may Allah bless them, is Local PCR. Local PCR is a private in-clinic healthcare test provider offering the full range of COVID-19 and lifestyle testing services. MashaAllah, there are nine sites across the UK with more in the pipeline, and they are committed to providing local, affordable, and easy access to private testing services with a focus on patient care. And MashaAllah, may Allah bless them, they are also offering a range of discounted travel tests for the zuwar of Imam al Hussein. Alayhi salam. For our first segment, brothers and sisters, I'm very happy to welcome our dear brother, Minhal Al Khafaji. Um, for those of you that do not know that name, you will recognize the face because I would argue that he is probably the main presenter of Imam Al Hussein TV, in particular during the live shows. Uh, mashallah, he's recently graduated as a dentist as well. First year? No, he's graduated now. He hasn't. Okay, he's nearly graduated as a dentist. Um, and for the mothers and fathers, he is not yet married, so inshallah we pray for him and we'll welcome him on stage with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad.
صلوا على محمد وآل محمد My dear brothers and sisters, I'm expecting a loud salawat. Athaniya bi ala swatikum. Hey Jesus, Athaniya bi ala ala swatikum. Respect my brothers and sisters, scholars. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Minhal Al Khafaji, and I want you to let me take you on a 13 year journey dating all the way back to 2009. I know it doesn't seem that far away, but a prosperous adventure that has led once a small group of middle aged men to now old men operating near the shrine of Imam Al Hussein. Alayhi salam. A journey of persistence, a journey of hardship, dedication, submission, but above all, a journey of brotherhood. Starting as a team of five in Asfahan, Iran, they had a motive, a mission, and a vision, which led them to move from Asfahan, Iran, to the land of Sayyid al Shuhada, Karbala, Iraq. Where they acquired their sword headquarters and they began looking for a team of producers, set designers, presenters, researchers, and much, much more. Each one made a pivotal role in the smooth running of this channel and the growth of it now. Now I know I don't have the time to speak to you today, but I'm actually honored to have been given this blessed opportunity. And today, now we have the world's biggest Shia media network company starting with Imam Hussein TV One established in 2009 with over 1.6 million minutes broadcasted and over 11 million views on our first channel, the Farsi channel. Over 38 million views and nearly 1.1 million minutes, minutes produced, produced on Imam Hussein TV2, our Arab channel, channel established, established in 2012. 2012. Over 15 million views and over 334,000 minutes produced on our third channel, Imam Hussein TV3, in the English language, established in 2013. Over 3 million views and 153,000 minutes produced on our Urdu channel, Imam Hussein TV4, established in 2016. And over 5 million views on our Turkish channel, Az Zahra TV, and over 300,000 minutes produced on that channel, established in 2017. And that's just our social media. Our, I, our IPTV has amassed a collective, colossal 10 million people viewership. 10 million individuals who have viewed our media network. And we don't plan to stop there. We have reached 100 countries on the face of this earth. And we do not plan to stop until we reach every single country there is. New countries, old countries, whatever you want to call it, we do not plan to stop there. Now, Imam Hussein Media Group has its own media news agency. A news agency covering the unbiased and the pure news of the Shia all across the globe. Whether it's the opening of a Husseiniya or the loss of someone within the community, oppression against the Shia or the achievements of the Shia, we cover all of it. Now, someone may come and ask, who runs Imam Hussein TV? Who runs Imam Hussein Media Group? Who's your leader? Who's the basic foundation? Who's the structure of this channel? Now, whether you're a producer, a presenter, a director, a cameraman, there is only one leader, and that's Imam Al Hussein Alayhi Salam. For without Imam Al Hussein Alayhi Salam's tawfiq and the, 
dua that we have from everyone across the world, there would be no Imam Hussein Media Group. There would be no Imam Hussein TV. Now, who is Imam Hussein Media Group? I'm sure many of you want to ask this. And what do we stand for? Now, I won't bore you with the usual stuff. We are a firm group of over 700 dedicated servants, not superior nor inferior to anyone around us, mind mapping, brainstorming, planning, executing, and delivering the highest quality of production. We believe that in order for the next generation to survive, thrive, and serve their community, as well as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and the Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salam, we need to come up with innovative, groundbreaking ideas and bring you the message of the Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salam in its purest essence. Now, our documentaries are no runner up, rather a leader in the Shi'i world today, discussing a magnitude of topics and some seemingly taboo, but there's nothing that the team here at Imam Hussein Media Group does not want to tackle. Once a small group, now a 700 man-powered brigade consisting of employees and volunteers who have dedicated a substantial part of their life to doing what they love most, and that's serving the Ahlul Bayt alayhim was salam. Now I know a lot of you want to enjoy your food and you're sitting there and you're like, why am I listening to this guy speaking about Imam Hussein Media Group? I just want to eat my food and get out of here. The truth is, a lot of you are asking, what is my role? And I want to put it as simple as three S's. Number one, share. A lot of us are going through something and many of our friends go through a world of things and so many people are looking for that minute detail. And believe me when I say, Imam Hussein TV believes in accuracy and finesse. We believe that in order to convey the message of the Ahlul Bayt alayhim was salam, it's accuracy and it's finesse. Number two, sign. Now the signature that we all want, not Cristiano Ronaldo, not Mohamed Salah, not Sayyid Ammar Nakhshawani, but the signature of Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam, the servants, the martyrs. Al-Thaniya bi'ala aswatikum. Al-Thalitha ala hubb al-Hassani wal-Hussein bi'ala a'la aswatikum. We want the signature of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. We want the signature of the martyrs of Karbala. We want the signature of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi and the Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salam. And not on a piece of paper that will perish and wrinkle up in a few years, but rather in our souls. In our souls that will live for eternity with the Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salam in the heavens, inshaAllah. And number three, support. We can sit here and I can stand here and talk to you about how amazing the channel is, how great the channel, how the production is top level. But if we don't have the financial as well as media backing, then we're still on square one. And we're not affiliated with any political group. And that's one of the most important things that I want to convey. Because the neutrality of Imam Hussein TV is a great way and an excellent way to unite all the Shia at a time where Shia disunity is creeping up on us. Now I'll leave you with one thing. It's a slogan. And a slogan that most are familiar with, many engraved into their hearts, and very few understand. Imam Hussein TV, your gateway to Karbala. But what does this mean? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was the city of knowledge. But who was the gate? Who was the gate? Ali. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was the city of hikmah, wisdom. And Ali was the gate. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi was the city of mercy, rahmah. And Ali was the gate. Thus Karbala 
is the city of the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi and Imam Hussein TV is your gate. For there is no other media network that streams 24 hours a day live from the holy land of Karbala seven days a week, 365 days a year for 13 years running. And I want to leave you with this final line. Five men started this. Five channels, five languages, and five more reasons for you to support today. Because Imam Hussein TV is truly your gateway to Karbala. Thank you very much. Many thanks to our dear, dear brother Minhal Al Khafaji right, for that beautiful, uh, beautiful presentation. <clears throat> Just a couple of kind of housekeeping announcements, things to do. First of all, Mullah Ali Fadl told me that this mic isn't working out. He said the sound is bad, so he told me to use this one. So, Mr. Sandman in the back, please, can you turn this one off? Switch this one on for me. Beautiful. Thank you very much. He got it straight away, lovely. Um, and the second point as well is I've had three different brothers, I'll leave that there for the moment, three different brothers um, approach me unfortunately and say that the uh, sisters in the back are being very loud and it's difficult to hear um, their presentation at the front. So apologies, I didn't want to call you out in front of everybody in the room, unfortunately that did just happen. Um, but inshallah you'd be able to keep the volume down and um, be attentive to the presenters and the speakers. So, many thanks to uh, Brother Minhal. A couple of things to remember as well for our guests that have just joined. Mashallah, the room is getting quite packed now. If you look at your desk or your, rather your table, you should find a QR code there. So, reminder, don't forget to open it up. Tonight's brochure for the gala dinner is there. In particular, two places to kind of focus your attention on. Number one is the auction list. So, we have some absolutely phenomenal um, uh, I guess, items available in the auction. And probably the best part of this auction is that um, I will be hosting, but my co-host will be Sayyid Ammar Naqshawani, which I'm really looking forward to hosting an auction if you say it. Love you. Okay. And also, uh, there's a store outside, I've been told to remind you, that has some amazing uh, prizes and gifts kind of available from Karbala. Next, we have a very, very short video um, that gives a fascinating insight into some of the programs that Brother Minhal was referring to, that kind of breaking stereotypes, the new types of programs that we have that are airing on the channel. So please team, roll video. And before we do, salawat ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Now, a lot, a lot goes, goes into producing, producing the shows that you love here on Imam Hussein TV. Maybe, Maybe half, half an hour, an hour for, you, for you, but it's, but it's out, out for us. For us. We, have we have many, many factors, factors to, consider to consider when producing, when producing our, our shows. shows. 
time, time cost, cost, set design, design sourcing, sourcing speakers, speakers and, guests. and guests. It takes, it takes us, us about an hour, hour to film, to film. Three, three hours, hours to, edit. to edit, two, two hours, hours to render. To render. And you, and you, well, well, you watch, you watch it, it in 30 to 40, 40 minutes. minutes. Hours, hours just for just 30, 30 minutes. minutes. What is, what is the Iron Prasini show? show? Well, it's a, it's show, a show that provides, that provides you, you, the dear viewers, a gateway, a window, a pathway, whatever you want to call it, to visit Imam al Hussein alayhi salam and Abel Fadl Abbas alayhi salam at the comfort of your own home. I am a host at the Ahqab SOS. It is a show which entails with people sending in the Ahqab questions which me and Sheikh Ali Ma'ash discuss and giving their answers. My show, My show is Her Thoughts, Thoughts which, is which is a show featuring a rotating panel of female, female presenters, presenters discussing, discussing a range of topics from a female, female perspective. perspective. Versus, Versus of Love aims to be the post majlis It tries to bring the community, to bring the community together, together to continue, to continue engaging, engaging with the Masai'ib of Ahlul Bayt I've had the honor of working and directing and, and, producing, and producing, producing documentaries for the Imam Hussein TV3 channel. So the late night show is essentially a talk show. I had guests all the way from self-development experts, Media, media experts, experts sales, sales directors. directors. My show, My show live, live in London, in London needs, needs no introduction. No introduction. World-renowned World scholar, scholar Dr. Sayyid Amar Sometimes, Sometimes it's difficult, it's difficult for us to do the research. It takes us sometimes a week, two weeks, two weeks to find answers, answers to certain questions. questions. Sometimes, sometimes the questions, the questions don't even get answered, answered and we have to roll them on next week. week. But I guess this is a problem that is actually a good headache and worth having. One of the main difficulties which we come across is getting female participants to participate in the show. After the show, when we get the emails coming through from the woman, um, in our society, society in our, in our community, community and, it really and it really shows us that, that women relate more to a female speaker. Amongst, Amongst some, of some of the difficulties I'd say is the late nights with a, with a pretty, pretty hectic, hectic schedule for all the reciters who have probably come from one or two, one or two majalis, majalis beforehand. beforehand. Sometimes you just have this magical moment where the reciter says a line that, that connects and lets you release all of, all of that emotion, emotion which, helps which helps you connect with Aba Abdullah and therefore with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I filmed these documentaries during COVID. That always, that always stays, stays with, with me because I think that was a difficulty that I thought I will face, yet, yet I think Imam al-Hussein sallallahu alayhi opened so many doors and made everything so easy for me. How much can we laugh and joke on an Islamic channel, especially when the channel is associated to Imam al-Hussein But the best part of the show is actually, it's the fun part of it. So that's, that's, that's the, the games. The best, the best thing about, about this show, you can actually speak, speak and discuss and actually, and actually voice, their voice their opinions and questions, and questions Dr. Dr. Sayyid Amman Ashwani. We've, We've come, come so far, yet still, still have so much more to achieve. Support, support us so that, so that we, we can support your, your children in bringing, in bringing them more knowledge and content. And content. Because, because Imam Hussain TV is your, is your gateway to Kabbalah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Thank you very much, and apologies, brothers and sisters, for the technical difficulties. We're going to get there because there's, there's about four more videos probably to play tonight. So that's hopefully the first and last little hitch that we have. Um, as all of you in attendance know, and many of you at home are also aware, one of the absolutely kind of phenomenal and very unique things about Imam Hussein TV, as Brother Minhal mentioned, is that's the only English TV channel that has live access 24 hours a day to the holy city of Karbala, right? Massive deal. The studios, by the way, there, if you're lucky enough to visit the holy land of Karbala, are literally meters away from the shrine of Imam al Hussein and his beloved brother, Al Abbas alayhi salam. And during peak seasons, like Muharram, like Safar, um, the channel is honored to be bringing Karbala into countless, countless homes. As we are all aware, of course, uh, Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam holds the utmost importance in our lives, not just in Muharram or in Safar. Um, I'm pretty sure if you look and, and maybe Sayyid Ammar or the scholars can clarify, but most events in the year, whether they're commemorations or celebrations, there's a point of a ziyara related to Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Um, and of course, uh, the 15th of Sha'ban is no different. Um, there are narrations talking about the rewards of Ziyarat al Hussein on the 15th of Sha'ban that say the prophets and the angels visit Imam al Hussein on this night 
and therefore performing the ziyara is one of the most beneficial acts of this night. It has been said, whoever wishes to shake the hands of 124,000 prophets should perform this ziyara on this night. Uh, we're recommended the least we can do is a short salutation from Imam Hussein from an elevated position of your house and say, Assalamu alaikum ya Aba Abdullah, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Of course, having access to the holy shrines uh, and being your gateway to Karbala. By the way, you're going to hear that about 700 times tonight. I think it's been about 15 already. Um, but it's true. And of course, the beauty of being the gateway to Karbala is that, inshallah, we can take you there. So uh, it gives me uh, a great honor to welcome uh, our dear brother who is in Karbala. Inshallah, we're not going to have any difficulties. And I'm hoping this is going to be smooth. So I'm waffling in between by the time they get the link ready uh, from Karbala, I hope. We have our dear brother, Sayyid Ali Nawab, who is next to the shrine of the Master of Martyrs. And so, inshallah, we're ready to go. I'm getting a thumbs up. Inshallah, we'll welcome Sayyid Ali, please, with a very, very warm salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم محمد وآل محمد I would like to first of all my dear brother Haider Al Qazaz and also my dear brother Minhal Al Khafaji for starting all the amazing show. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullah, my dear brothers and sisters. Those who are seated. In, in the, the gala, gala dinner in London, in London. Um, um, to, Karbala. to Karbala. Welcome, Welcome to, to Imam Hussein, Hussein main, main studio in the, in the close vicinity of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam shrine and Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas salam alayhi as, as you are all familiar with brothers, brothers and sisters who recently have come to Karbala and visited the studios of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. You are familiar with the studio where we have world-renowned writers and anchors come to Karbala and come to this very specific studio where we're standing here and recite and record their video clips naming just them. Our Brother, Brother, the respected, respected servant, servant of Imam, Imam al-Hussam, Haj, Haj Mir Hussain Mir, and, and also our, our one and only, only the respected, world-renowned speaker, speaker Sayyid Ammar al-Nakshawani, and, and also, also the world-renowned world -renowned speaker, Khadim al-Hussain alayhi salam, Haj Nazdar al-Qatari, and more and more and more. The few of those, of those who, who frequently, frequently come to Karbala, to Karbala and, and Use, use this important studio and location because of the, the, the drop back and the scenery behind. We just look at how amazing my dear, my dear respected brothers and sisters, and sisters who, are who are seated there, there and then those, those who are watching us live, streaming, streaming to you live from, from Karbala. How amazing, amazing are, are just, just having the golden, the golden dome of Imam al Hussein al alayhi salam um, and the palm trees of Bain al Haramain. The land, the land of, of Karbala, Karbala. The, land the land of martyrdom, and martyrdom. The, land the land of bravery, of bravery. Here. here in this, in this very, very spring, in, in these holy, holy hours, hours being the, the birthday of, of the awaited Savior, Sahib al-Zaman, Ajalallahu ta'ala farajah al-Sharif, if I, if I may kindly and, and prolong, prolong to, to be in Karbala, Karbala and stand, and stand before, before the shrine and the, shrine and the golden, golden chamber, chamber of Abi Abdullah and, and, and present and, and recite your, your own back, back, back to humbly ask, ask you all, all my, dear my dear brothers and sisters, and sisters my, my respected elders, elders the, ulama, the ulama, the lecturers, the, lecturers, the, servants, the servants of Abi Abdullah, whoever is seated there in, in London, London where watching, where watching and, and hearing me, I, I, I want all to stand. To stand. Pla place your hand it? over your chest and heart and recite with me these 
that where we all repeat ziyara. I again urge every single individual to rise and stand, stand from your seats, get up from your seats, please, and recite the ziyara with me, the ziyara of Imam Al Hussein Ali Salam and Abu Al Fadl Al Abbas. I appreciate. I will take moments of your time, but please, in honor of Sayyid Al Shuhada and in honor of the ziyara of Imam Al Hussein Ali Salam. Again, all can respectfully stand and recite the ziyara. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As-salamu alayka ya Mawlai. Naaru lillah. السلام عليك يا مولاي يا ابن أميرين السلام عليك يا مولاي يا ابن طمة الزهراء سيدة السائلين السلام عليك يا أبا عام وعلى الأرواح التي حلت بفنائك عليني سلام الله أبدا بقيت وبقي الليل والنهار ولا جعله الله آخر العهد مني لزيارتكم now everyone who longs to be in Karbala this is your chance there and there do not think that you are seated or standing in London because this is your gateway to the shrine of Imam with the loudest of your voices with however much lashing you have in your heart for Abi Abdullah As-salamu ala al-Hussain wa ibn al Hussein, وعلى أولاد الحسين، وعلى أصحاب الحسين. Now we go and salute the one carried the banner of Abi Abdullah on the day of Ash. That's okay. Until the last moment, was waiting for her uncle Abbas to come back. Assalamu alaikum, ya Kamar al Ashira. Assalamu alaikum, ya Saqi. Ataka Karbala. Assalamu alaikum, ya. السلام عليك يا مولاي يا أبا الفضل العباس ابن أمير المؤمنين السلام عليك وعلى آخر العالمة التقية النقية الورعة فاطمة أم البنين السلام عليك وعلى على أختك السيدة الصغرى زينب الكبرى عليكم جميعا ورحمة الله وبركاته. I ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to accept all all our ziyar and supplication and to grant you to come to Karbala very soon. So you stand before the shrines of Abi Abdullah Al Hussein and Al Abbas. My dear brothers and sisters, thank you very much. I would like you, I would like to invite.
at your teats. Sit down so we can, inshallah, continue introducing the Imam Television Channel, the Imam Hussein Media Group to you. Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. sister that you created Q Fatima very recently okay and she's covering her face and she's embarrassed by it but Q Fatima is basically an online like resource with uh, information on the Imams and, and it saved me so many times with kids majalis and kids clubs etc so fundamental uh, kind of part of, of everything I've been doing on the side uh, Umar Bini is also an internationally renowned scholar and teacher um, she has an extensive background in Islamic education and actually on top of Q Fatima, she is also one of the four founding members of Hujjat Saturday Workshop. Um, so yeah, very, very honored sister to welcome you to the stage. And um, if you can please give a warm salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على محمد وعليه الطيبين الطاهرين Can I have a salawat please? Respected scholars, my husband, my children, both womb and non-womb, brothers and sisters in Islam, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I'm not a scholar. I'm simply a mother of five very awesome children and seven grandchildren and hoping to have lots more. So take the scholar bit out. Now the subject I was given today was Imam Hussein and community empowerment. But before I go there, on the birth of the most awesome man who walks the earth, I wish you peace and blessings. I'm honored to be part of this gala dinner, the first of many, I hope, and I'm hoping you're raising your hands in the ah, that will come here again and again and again. But more than anything else, you and I are in a room full of Ahlul Baytis, I don't need to speak about empowerment. Just feel the vibes. Um, was it Minhal? Minhal, your voice, your passion, your finesse, I don't have any of that. But your vibes, my goodness, I need to stop now. Anyway, first some definitions. I told you I'm not a scholar, I have to Google most of these. So what's a community? That was the first thing I Googled. It said it's a group of people who are not necessarily spatially connected, which means they're not geographically connected, but they have common attitudes and interests. Some of the dictionaries tell you that it's the sense of togetherness that organized religion can provide. That's us. Community empowerment. Can we have a salawat, please? That's a bit in my face. Okay. All right. So community empowerment. God, it made you quiet though, didn't it? Awesome. Okay. So that refers the process of enabling a human being to reach his or her full potential. Now I'm going to try and define that, what that means. In essence, somebody who is able to be free to reach their personal best. And that's why Imam Hussein is known as Abu Lahra, the father of freedom. In essence, empowerment is when I behave and do what divinity wants, not what anybody else wants, but what he wants, and through that empowerment, I'm able to radiate that energy. See, to many people, Kojas in particular, I'm a Koja, very, very proud to be one. Empowerment means controlling, intimidating, eliminating the weak, and exploiting the vulnerable. We don't do that bit, we do the controlling bit, okay? The mantra is my way or the highway. I'll be happy when you do what I want. Um, I will only be happy when you pay allegiance to me. I will only be happy when everything goes my way. That's what most people think power is. But it's not. So I'm going to tell you a story, and all of you know it, but reminders are good. Over 1,380 um, years ago, just before the time of Asr, 10th of Muharram, all of you know that, an absolutely phenomenal man stood on a sand dune in Karbala. He was bleeding from several wounds on his body. And since early morning, he had carried the bodies of his friends, of his family, to the camp. Tears flowed from his eyes. And then he looked up at the sky. And somewhere, from a source, from an unseen source, he seemed to draw some strength. And then like a mu'adlin from a minaret, he said, Basically, is there anyone who will come to help us? 
Now he turned the direction, I'm told, and he repeated this call in every single direction. This question is immortalized by Imam Hussein. It needs a bit of thought, okay? He asked it so that he could ensure that throughout the ages it would resonate in your soul and in my soul. And every time you and I saw oppression, every time we saw exploitation, we would look at his example and respond to ensure that every single human being had a right to be empowered. Every human being had a right to be free. And yes, I know you're looking at me. I'll come to women in a minute, okay? Countless times, countless times, in your life, in my life, we're forced to answer this question directly or indirectly or verbally or non-verbally. And you and I have been given the power to choose the answer. It's a grace of God. It's called free will. That response to that question determines my biography, your biography. It determines our character, our prisons, and whether we are free or whether we are empowered. Let's see what Imam said to the oppressors. He said, if you have no religion or fear of accountability, the day of resurrection, then at least be free in this world. I remember speaking at an interfaith event, and one of my Christian friends said this to me. She said, I'll be with you in thought for the next 10 days. This was just before the month of Muharram. As you reflect on the detrimental effects of oppression, may the hearts of all oppressors be moved to compassion for the oppressed. Imam said, I have taken this stand not out of arrogance or pride, neither out of mischief or injustice. I have risen to seek reform in the community of my grandfather. I want to do Amr bil Ma'roof, Nahiyan al Munkar, and I want to follow the tradition of my grandfather and my father. So, what was the tradition of his grandfather? You all know this. This is just a repetition. I'm a teacher of children. That's about all I know. So, over 1400 years ago, his grandfather, Again, the most awesome man who walked the earth, meditated in a cave. He looked for a strategy to heal his community. They didn't understand what empowerment was. A community that was fractured, that believed that to be empowered came from controlling, oppressing, intimidating, eliminating the weak and exploiting the vulnerable. I've been through that. He wished to empower them from within. So divinity sent revelations to his heart. And he started a perpetual movement whose message has only got stronger over time. You only had to listen to Minhal to know that. He advocated three things. So tell the children, if you have these three things, you've got everything. TTC, truth, trustworthiness, and extreme compassion. If you have these three things, you're done. He taught that the goal in life was to gain, get closeness to God through striving to reach one's full potential. When he died at the age of 63, the whole of the Arabian Peninsula had changed from idol worshipping to the worship of the one God. From tribal wars to national unity, from anarchy to disciplined living, from ignorance to excellence in knowledge, and from immorality to the highest standards of morality. Human history has not known such a complete transformation of a people in 23 years. In fact, the Encyclopedia Britannica calls him the most successful of all religious personalities in the world. But his teachings were manipulated. They were distorted. So much so that in his name, the very values he stood for were overturned. You don't have to look far. You really don't have to look far to see the distortion committed by those who claim to be the followers of Muhammad Rasulullah. I'm going to talk a little bit of the ology stuff that scholars mostly do, but I think I've got to do it. So in Islam, freedom is theistic, which means by consciously admitting attachment to Allah in all that is tangible and intangible, you liberate yourself from other human beings and from things. And it allows us to measure ourselves against the principles and paradigms of Hussein when we look at injustice or tyranny or oppression. And there's two principles. The first is based on an internal awareness of divine truth. Basically, what that means 
is to understand and believe that there is an akhirah, that you and I are accountable for absolutely everything. The Makkans believed in a God, but they did not believe in accountability. The Quran, and many of you may know it in Surah Al-Tawbah, says, Araditum bil hayat dunya min al akhirah. Are you really happy with this world? Really? Think about it. Over the akhirah. Are you content with it? So, the first principle is based on the conviction that there is a life after death. And that we are, and that is why when somebody dies, we say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We are from Allah and to Him we will return. That's a cornerstone, but that's a principle. That's what people talk about. To be able to do this, I need to be able to connect it to some sort of action. I can't just, everybody knows. In, in Madrasa, you learned Tawheed, Dadala, Nabuwa, Imama, Qiyama. What is Qiyama? Yeah, that will be a day sometime in the future. But to be able to manifest it means to be able to do jihad. Again, a term that is construed really wrongly. It's actually being able to struggle in the cause of the freedom of truth. So when Imam Hussein sees that the freedom taught by the Prophet, to, which was allegiance and submission only to Allah, is distorted, and now you were forced to um, give your allegiance to the state or the government or the leaders or whoever we were, whoever they were, and their laws went above the law of God, he became a freedom fighter. We call him a shaheed, one who stands for the truth. Now there's only one major proviso here. Imam Hussein made it very clear. You have to follow the laws of the creator. The Robin Hood system doesn't work here at all. You can't make up your own laws. And as Shias, we believe that the event of Ashura is the greatest redemptive act in, the history, in history. What happened on the plains of Karbala is as if it were taking place now. And that's why we say, Kullu yawmin Ashura, Kullu ardin Karbala. So now the practical part. How did Imam empower the Ummah of his grandfather? Very clever, obviously. First, he appointed a partner, Sharikatul Hussein, a woman. Really? Yeah, okay. So she was a very smart woman, really smart. So he appointed Sayyidah Zainab. She was the marketing director. So she was this person who marketed empowerment after him. Let's look at some examples. When his infant child was slaughtered in front of him, he says, Ridham bi qadaihi wa taslima li amri. You all know this. I'm going to paraphrase it. It means I did my best. It means um, I've done everything I could. I leave the results up to him. That's basically what he said. She, when she was asked about the horrors of the day of Ashura, she said, Ma illa jamila. I saw nothing but beauty. I wonder about this woman. He was so smart when released from prison. She said, I want a small room. To do what? To be able to transmit this message of freedom. The Imams who came after this, in fact, all of us are here because, because of her, perpetuated her tradition so much so that even in weddings, we don't start unless we have Majlisa Hussain. These two, they were the dream team. Okay, that's number one. Number two, he asked for a night's respite. So he said, I want a night's respite. And we all say, yeah, we know that. Why? Why did he do that? Well, he followed his grandfather, read Surah Al-Muzzamil and Muddathir. He said, and I have a salah, I love salah. I love to read his book. I love lots of dua and I love istighfar. He was trying to tell you and me, you cannot change the behavior of others. You cannot control anybody else, but you can radiate empowerment from here, right from inside, by empowering the mind with divinity from within, not from outside. And to empower anyone, you need to have empowerment. You cannot give what you do not have. If you do not talk to your creator at night, how are you going to give it to somebody during the day? So spend a bit of your night if you want to be Husseini. The other thing which I love, no matter how much you've messed up, we all mess up. He says, you can turn back like Hur 
and you can be free in the world and the hereafter. So, how do I translate it into my day-to-day -day life? All this was theory. So I'm going to go back to my childhood. Every single day, after our evening meal, except on the birthdays of the Masumin, we would gather around on a four-poster bed around my grandma. My grandma was phenomenal. And my grandma used to recite a Marthia or a Noha or a Latmia, and we would sit there and we would cry with her. Maybe it was because of the dessert that she would give us afterwards. But she instilled in us the love of Hussein. She used to tell us that you only love those who bring out the godliness in you. I know you don't listen to songs, right? None of you do, shouldn't. But there's a Hindi song which says, Tujh mein rab dikhta hai. I see my God in you. My grandmother said, that's where you see God. Now, we may not have grandmothers like mine, but we have channels like Imam Hussein TV that bring Hussein into our living room. They are our grandmas. You just have to switch it on and you will see some, we'll see Amar, but <laughs> you will see somebody who will remind you of Hussein. As a child, I also remember the preparations that were done for the 10 days leading up to the day of Ashura. My father used to ensure that the mosque was clean, the black banners were put up. He used to practice the Marthias and Nohas. He would recite and, and you know what? His business was a forgotten entity for weeks. Our old clothes were dyed black. Yes, we didn't buy new black clothes. And I would tell him, Papa, why? All this just to be sad? And he would say, it's about being free about being a Husseini, about being owned by no one, being the best, being attached to those through whom you see God. And he would say, you have to wear your heart on your sleeve, my child. My father was a successful businessman who traveled the world. But every time he came back, and we used to stand around his suitcase, he would be more interested about the new gadgets, the sound systems, the carpeting for the local Husseinia, which he had designed and built. And he taught us that to be Husseini, you had to be part of the Husseini family. I learned from him that that's where empowerment came from. I was too young to understand his wisdom. He died when I was 10. And it took many, many years to understand a minuscule of what he was trying to tell me. It was only life when life presented moments of utter brokenness that I could grasp a little understanding of what my father meant when he said, say, labaik ya Hussein, and everything will be okay. That was my father. So, another practical thing. When you drink water, you've all got water here. Energize it. Do not drink it without saying, Salaam alayka ya Aba Abdullah. How long can it take you to say that? All of you have seen the, the research done by some Japanese professor on the effect of what you say on water. Okay, say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim as well. But please, Assalamu alayka ya Aba Abdullah. And finally, the house of empowerment is the centers we occupy as Husseiniyas. And media outlets, like, like Imam Hussein TV, for example, which bring you or make your living room into a Hussainia. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because I need to talk about women. Are you good with that? Are you all right with that? You don't like talking about women, do you? You ask them to be quiet, for God's sakes. Okay, so here we go. So as a woman, I won't be true to my gender if I don't put this all, uh, this is age old. It's always there. Gender discrimination and prejudice. If you do not empower the women in your centers, you will not empower you, right? We're still treated like second class citizens. You may look at a speaker. We have to look like that at a screen. And then they tell us, why are you talking? Really? Why are we talking? Okay. You all know the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world, okay? If you look at any civilization, whether you look at um, the Greek philosophers, the church writers, the French revolutions, the Russians, all of them, 
Oh, I'm not supposed to talk about Russia. Okay, they were all men, okay. The founding of the US was men. It's only in the establishment of Islam that you find women playing a central role in its actualization of its teaching. Jalaluddin Rumi in his Mathnavi writes, in the view of intellect, heaven is the man and earth is the woman. What one throws down, the other nurtures. Women are much better at harnessing and nurturing spiritual and emotional energy. The mandate of a Muslim woman is so clearly defined. Her primary role is to build the basis of the structure of a society. And by this, I mean that she's the one who provides that invisible foundation of a nucleus from which all human beings build their lives. You just, you don't have to go far. Look at a house where a woman is missing and see what happens there. Now for this role, it's essential that she's educated. I believe that's probably one single factor. And not this education, by the way, she can have a vocation, but it's not the education just for a vocation, more about the why of life. Now let me clarify one thing. If in your head, this side, you are conjuring up a picture of a docile, subservient, domesticated slave for man, you can't be further from the truth. Don't even think about it, okay? You are actually looking at somebody who can be themselves, women who can be themselves, what Allah ordained them to be and not what society, particularly what men want them to be. They must not, they must not be made to feel inadequate. Okay, as far as humanity goes, that's all of us together. Jihad is linked to the struggle in the cause of the oppressed. Abu Abdullah teaches me that as a mom, I can't even be human if I remain silent. When I watch another mom standing over the ruins of what was her home, looking at the bodies of her children and wondering, are there no free human beings in the world? You and I are sitting here eating and we're enjoying our food. And we'll probably have lots of asraf. I'm sorry, I hope you will all take most of your leftover food home. But think of the people who have no food. That mom will be thinking, is everybody enslaved? All of us, every single one of us is accountable because freedom of truth transcends colors, creed, cultures. And to free ourselves, we have to oppose those who play God, speaking out against their tyranny. We're supposed to support those who bring Hussein into our homes. And if for one minute you thought that your little voice and your few pennies will, make, will not make a difference, just look at history. Okay, it's my last bit. The mighty armies of Rome have gone. But Prophet Isa still lives. The army of Quraysh have disappeared, but the words of Muhammad strive on. The armies of Yazid are long forgotten, but one lone man in the desert of Iraq still lives, and he inspires the freedom of truth with the question, Hal min nasri surna? Is there anyone to help us? I suggest, if you've got plastic, there's people coming around with little machines. If you've got cash, empty it out, put it on the table. It will be a game changer in your life. Thank you for listening. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As lovers, As lovers of the Ahlul Bayt, we all, we all have, have an inclination, inclination to the, to the epitome, epitome of love. When we, when we rejoice, rejoice and, times and times are hard, whatever, whatever stage, stage of life we are in, we all, we all yearn to be, to be in one, in one special, special place. place. We all, we all wish, wish to visit, to visit the, blessed the Blessed Shrine of Imam al Hussein in the holy city of Karbala. Not, Not all of us have the blessing, blessing to visit the Shrine of Imam Hussein. But there is still a way to experience the sights and sound of the blessed land of Karbala in the 
in the comfort of your own homes. We call upon you, dear viewers, to support us in our financial costs to help bring the Holy Land of Karbala beaming into your homes. We are your gateway to Karbala. Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Imam Hussein TV3. Many thanks to our dear sister, Umul Bareen Marali. Um, I apologize for telling the woman to be quiet. Uh, my wife is here, so she'll probably kill me afterwards as well. Um, but just so you know, I've also been told probably around seven times in the last minute that the pocket of sisters in the top right, I'm, I'm gonna do it again, I apologize. The pocket of sisters in the top right hand corner um, are having a great time. That's probably the, the best way that I could put it without offending anyone. Um, I genuinely know that it's quite a jovial atmosphere and it's a happy day and we're celebrating, um, of course, uh, the birth of our awaited savior. Um, I genuinely just think out of etiquette, um, if somebody is, is speaking, especially, if it's me, you could probably talk because I'm, I'm waffling a lot of the time, but the words were so eloquent from my dear sister um, that I would probably just ask uh, respectfully when someone is speaking that you listen, inshallah. Um, we next, I'm very actually um, very excited because this chap is a close, close friend of mine. Um, he is a, a reciter of Quran, of Dua, of Anashid, of Latmiyat. Um, he's a presenter um, and uh, yeah, very the, the super talented close friend of mine, Mullah Ali Fadl. Um, so really excited about this. He's going to be reciting some poetry in honor of Imam Al Mahdi uh, and also in honor of Imam Ali, if I'm not mistaken. And Mullah Ali is a smart reciter, so what he'll do is if there's talking, he'll just go quiet like this. And it'll make loads of people feel really awkward, especially the pocket of sisters in the top right hand corner. So, in any case, I'm very, very excited to welcome Mullah Ali. If you can please. Welcome him with a very loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. As-salatu wa salamu ala khair al-anbiya'i wa al-mursaleen wa habibi ilahi al-alamin abil qasim al-mustafa Muhammad. وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين my distinguished guests scholars brothers sisters and apparently the table of sisters at the back السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته it does give me absolute pleasure to be amongst you all um, just a quick 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 personal kind of story on Imam Hussein TV all of the and by the way you gave my secret away the saying silent thing yeah, uh, all of the brothers who are behind the scenes, um, especially the ones who look like or half look like waiters, uh, the ones wearing black black ties. Anyway, the ones from Imam Hussein TV crew, I grew up with them. I was there when they were young, literally probably about this high. There's videos from 1990s onwards. I was there when. All of uh, the, uh, the people that you see now, they had their little cameras, some of them had little phones, and they were just keen on media from such a young age. They just wanted to record anything. I wasn't very good um, 10, 15 years ago, but still, any Latmiya, please, Mullah Ali, let's record it and put this on this social media channel. Please, let's record this lecture. Let's record this venue. This. So, the work that they're doing hasn't started or didn't start five years ago, six years ago, even ten years ago. The work started from the place that they grew up and that was the message of Imam al-Hussein drummed into them from a young age. 
And hats off to you guys. Inshallah, I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that many of you can support the channel in any way, shape or form. Namely today, as Haji Mirali mentioned, the plastic card. Um, please do so. It does go a long, long way to supporting the channel. And inshallah, bringing you, uh, what was the, the thingy word again? The gateway. What was that again? Yeah, and inshallah, I'm going to repeat it. Is it what, 79 times now? The gateway to Karbala, inshallah. Bibarakati salat ala Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad. The clock stops ticking. The clouds stop moving. And all that remains, the dew of morning, the thought of you. The soil is fertile, the rose is frail, and somewhere in them wanders my soul in search of you. And the earth turns not for day or night, nor to keep it in flight, but because it's searching, like me, it's yearning, and the stars falling. To the call of you They say absence Makes the heart grow fonder Makes results stronger But here I am dying To a heart singing Or it's a longing for a sight of you, Ya Aba Saleh, Madadi, Ya Aba Saleh, Madadi, Ya Aba Saleh, Madadi, Ya Aba Saleh. Similar to the words of Sayyid Ali Nawab, I want you, inshallah, to replicate that same voice that you have. And I'm hoping that the whole of this crowd can repeat alongside with me. Ya Aba Saleh Madadi means, Yo Imam Mehdi, help me. Ya Aba Saleh Madadi, Ya Aba Saleh, Ya Aba Saleh Madadi, Ya Aba Saleh. To a ishqa a tamam a wujuda to budu na budu fada yaruhetu hama alam biya bin garbar dale gamdide dale. Kalayli nadida, zagam chachashida, dar alam yek dam ben gar hal zar maram bi qarar maram. تو صبح سپیدم زنر جس چشمت ببین چه چشیدم یا با صالح 
مددي يا ابا صالح مددي يا ابا صالح مددي يا ابا صالح صل على محمد وال محمد 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 The English words, many thanks to Nuri, Sardar, the Iranian words, I have zero clue. But in any case, the next poem, inshallah, in honor of Amir al muminin let me hear a loud salawat ala Muhammadin wa Ali Muhammad. I'll see you soon and then I will feel free. I reach your land, can you see me, for you I've come so far, I don't know without you who I would be, you make my heart feel complete, for you for you I'd give my all to have you by my side My heart, body and soul from your love I can't hide For you I'd give my all to have you by my side My heart, body and soul from your love I can't hide دشت می ابرکا پهل کتر علی میر مرشد بی آکا بی مولا علی علی مولا علی I see you near me I want to feel free Ali, 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 Harsu, Sada, Yahedari, Ya, Ali, 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 Jana, Fida, Jana, Fida, Yahedari, Ya, Ali. Ali, Ali, I've been wanting to see you forever As long as I can remember I wish to see your shrine I know that soon we will be together For you I would do whatever it takes to prove your mind Every step that I take Every time that I think Every move that I make Every time that I blink me musibat me ab kyun bhari sharahu gham ke maroon kahe tu sahara ali ali I see you near me, son of Ashimi, Ya Ali, 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 Ramze Bakai Hashimi, Ya Ali, 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 Janam Fida. Ali, Ali, Ali.
Thank you very much for listening. Best of luck for the channel. Inshallah, all the best. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Many thanks. Thank you, Sandman. Many, many thanks to our dear brother, Mullah Ali Fadl, for that beautiful, beautiful performance. We'll move on, inshallah, um, to a video that you wouldn't expect to see at Imam Hussein TV or on an Imam Hussein TV group channel. Um, you'll find out very shortly why. Uh, when I was shouting, how long, how long, in the beginning of... Um, in the beginning of the dinner, um, in reference to Sayyid Ammar, you'll find out what that means as well, inshallah. Um, we've got special permission to, to play this because typically, as mentioned, it's not something you'll find, but inshallah, it's a good laugh. And for any of the sisters that I've offended by the uh, lowering the voice thing, this is a chance to laugh at me as well because I nearly fall over in the video. Anyway, take it away, team. Thank you very much. This one on? How long? <laughs> now you know why we need major funding having seen those clips. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Imam Hussein TV, and that's why really the talk tonight is off the cuff. It's very relaxed, it's very fluid, because this is the atmosphere that we've created at the channel. I'm sure you all noticed from the clips on the channel that we all look like really good friends. We all get on very well with each other. And I can hand on heart say that normally if I was asked to give a lecture, I would start with a verse of the Quran, then a couple of a hadith, a couple of stories. But that's not how it works at Imam Al Hussein TV. At Imam Al Hussein TV, you just got to go off the cuff. You've got to enjoy the moment because it's not something which is rigid. Rather, it is a family that has come together. And so when you see what you just saw, there's so much that happens in Imam Al Hussein TV behind the scenes. But I could categorically say to each and every one of you that it's a place where you enjoy going into work. I look forward to going into work. Because I know that there's going to be times where we laugh, there's going to be bloopers, there's going to be times we cry. But that all of us on this channel have the same common goal. And that's to make sure that Imam Al-Hussein name 
reaches the world, reaches every house. Now, in tonight's talk, I want to introduce you to some of the people who are behind the scenes. Some of the people who don't get much credit. So that I can show you how the story of Imam Al-Hussein TV actually developed through my own experience. And first and foremost, the person who deserves the shout out of all shout outs and a round of applause from all of you. And I don't know where he is right now, but I'm going to ask him to stand up. Haji Qasim Fahad. Where's Haji Qasim? There you go. Round of applause for Haji Qasim Fahad at the back. As well as making sure that he employed every Karbala'i in London and that Imam Al Hussein TV just looked like a particular studio from Asfahan, he also made sure that he developed one of the best channels there is. The man behind the scenes working so hard, so diligently is Haji Qasim Fahad. And my experience with Haji Qasim Fahad is that he approached me to come on Imam Al Hussein TV. And when he approached me to come on Imam Al Hussein TV, he said to me that I want you to come on this channel. This is your channel. He gave me all the mujamalat in the book. We're at your service, whatever you do. And then he said to me, whatever you want to say is up to you. That was one of the biggest mistakes he made in his life. How could you tell me whatever you want to say you could go ahead with? He didn't know what he was in store for. And that's why when we first begun, we begun with a show on Imam Al Hussein TV called Live in London. Hands up, how many of you remember Live in London? How many of you watch Live in London? Fantastic. Live in London, it's a wonderful show, but would you agree that there's been some really controversial content there? The reason the man has gray hair is only because of me and nobody else on that channel. Everybody else on that channel talks about the most basic, simple things. But then it comes to my show. There he is, look at him on the screen there. He's definitely gone on the hair dye recently. But 100% you'll see that normally that is grey. And that's why you'll see that some of the shows that we've had, we started with Life in London, and the topics that we picked were controversial topics. He would come to me and he'd say to me, Sayyidina, but why did you have to say this? Can't we just talk about Imam al Hussein alayhi salam? Can't we talk about the Quran? And then I'd say to him, Haji, we want to get people talking. You've got to trust me. Give me this show and I'm going to get people listening non-stop. And believe you me, I don't deny that there were certain things that I said that was controversial. I think there was a couple of episodes in particular where people couldn't believe the topic that I was discussing. But then there were other moments where I gave him severe headaches. And there were moments which really just cracked me up as well. Once in a rant that I had on live television against Shimar bin Diljoshan and Umar bin Sa'ad, I went off on one. And when I went off on one, one of the words that I used while going off on one was that I, well, I shouldn't really say it here, but there's a, there's a part of the story that's being mentioned. So I said, Umar bin Sa'ad, that, that prick. Well, thanks. Yeah, round right of applause. That's, that's more like it. How long? Okay. Now, you know the cameraman are looking at me thinking, did he just say that? Even in my head, I was thinking, did I just say that? Let me just continue with this lecture. I just lost it. Haji Qasim was told. He came to me. He said, Sayyidina, I said, like, so I want to ask you a question. I was like, yeah, he goes, I'm getting complaints. I said, about what, Haji? He goes, did you say something? I said, I didn't say anything. He said, no, you said something. I said, say, no, I didn't say anything. He said to me, they said you said a word. I said, which word? He said, brick. <laughs> because an Arab's not going to say pee. He said, inta samajhum brick? So I said, I did. He goes, what does brick mean? I said, tabuga. <laughs> now, by the way, until today, he doesn't know 
that I said prick. So I think he might sack me. But we gave him many headaches, many controversial moments, but he backed me the whole way. He said, keep doing it. And he was the one who backed me in Muharram to speak about Saqifa to Karbala. You all saw the Muharram Majalis this year. And those Muharram Majalis, I could not deliver them in our Imam Bargas or our Husseiniyas because now we are told in some of our mosques, don't talk about those things. And then we ask ourselves the question, how will our sons and our daughters' aqeedah be strong if we don't talk about what happened to Ahlul Bayt and the masaib and the oppression that they went through? And so Haji Qasim said to me, you know what? Don't worry about what anyone says. You go ahead, I've got your back. And those lectures from Saqifa to Karbala became probably the most important lectures given in the last 30 years. Because for once, we were able to talk about our history academically and not mince our words. And so therefore, a round of applause for the man who gave the backing for those lectures. Now, next to that man, there's this handsome guy on the TV right now, but the camera has just left him. Go back to him. Go to Sayyid Murtad al-Husseini. Where is he? Wait, look, there, there you go. Look at him. By the way, may istahi, so I'm surprised that he's acting so shy at the moment. Where's Mustafa Akhund? Huh? Where is he? Mustafa Akhund, let's see. I'm surprised he's not wearing a tight t-shirt which is three sizes too small for him. <laughs> Mustafa Akhund is one of these people that the fiqh ruling came out for about making sure that, you know, when, when you're in rukur, nothing can show from behind. If you've ever been in the court behind him, what is a t-shirt becomes a crop top. But I love him. For a period of a couple of years, they all started traveling to Norway and marrying girls. I don't know what, there were offers, they were offers, I don't know, similar to the offers, Haidar Qazaz and Ali Fadl buy one suit, get two free, it seems like. Now, Mustafa Akhund and said, Murtada are the wings of Haji Qasim Fahad. They are the wings. What you see produced with the Majalis live in London, the Quran Tafsir, those two are the wings. And they've got their other partner who's a wing, whose hairstyles keep changing every day. He's like an exotic Latin singer. Go to him right now, Amir Reza. There you go, just look at that ponytail. What is going on with that ponytail? We did discover that there is a bird living in that ponytail, by the way. Now, it's a channel that has people who do taqlid of different scholars. I do taqlid of Sayyidina Sistani. I just about made it into the channel. No, they're a bit more open-minded recently. And there are others who follow Sayyid al khoi And there are others who follow, follow, and follow, and follow. Now, the Shirazi lot in the channel, of course, follow Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi. And Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi's wings are on that table over there, as you can see. And I'm going to really go to them in the auction, because I've heard that Rasul has got five million pounds to spare. <laughs> Listen, give, let's have a round of applause for Sheikh Rahman, Hajj Radi, Sayyid Jaisani, everyone. Okay, now why did I mention Mustafa Akhund? Where's Mustafa Akhund in Snowy? I shouldn't call him Snowy, I said Mustafa. Where are they? Okay, now I've got to mention them, why? You all knew that Said Shirazi has a ruling about iftar being early. You know that, yeah? It suddenly had like a 15% shift in his followers one year. He allowed you to, fit, to break your fast early. Us Sistani followers were breaking our fast at 9.15. Screwing. Haji Qasim screwing means nut in wall. 
Listen, you've got to be careful. Hajj Qasim checks every word that I say. We see study followers were breaking our fast at 9.15. Shirazi Lord were breaking their fast at 7 o'clock. But out of, you know, they'd be there and they'd be ordering. And by the way, the Imam Hussein TV channel, it's a food feast. You said israf. You come to the wrong place. <laughs> Dua nudba on a Friday morning is an excuse to eat a sheep's head. <laughs> There's pacha on Friday morning. If the RSPCA found out. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get back to the story. I come thirsty, hungry for my program. It's Shahar Ramadan. I come inside and I'm like, Salaamu Alaikum. As you do when you walk into the Imam Hussain TV studio, there's no answer. Salam. There's no answer. Hey guys, are you here? There's no answer. Then I hear. <laughs> Can I hear someone eating like KFC? By the way, KFC is across the road from the studio. I walk in. Now, parents over here will know this. You know when you found out, when you find your kids eating those chocolates they shouldn't be? And they're both, or they're playing with paint or crayons, and, and, they, and you've caught them? Mustafa Akhund and said Murtadha Al Husseini are eating KFC at 7 o'clock. And they just looked at it and said, I'm Sayyid. Anyway, those two are the wings. And it was just a Shirazi feast everywhere, to tell you the truth. Until one man from Samawa came and changed it. Round of applause, Minhal al Khafaji. Minhal al Khafaji is from Samawa. We needed someone to break the ice. It was Karbala and Isfahan Central. And when he came, he literally broke the ice. And me and him, and I'm sure you all agree, we had the best relationship with Muhammad Mirza, by the way. Muhammad Mirza, stand up. There you go. Round of applause, Muhammad Mirza. We built a relationship, me and Minhal, and that's what I love about Imam Al Hussein TV. Minhal, when you presented your first show on Imam Al Hussein TV, how old were you? 18. You acted 14, but you were 18. Minhal was 18 years of age. By the way, that series which I gave, the prophets in the Quran, where he would sit across from me, he was 18 years of age. The beauty of this channel is that it gives chances to our youth to fulfill their potential. We have many great youths in our communities, many like Minhal, but they need a platform. There are many who are eloquent, they need a platform. And so me and Minhal, Begun a combination of shows which really, in my opinion, helped so many people in their houses. Of course, don't get me wrong, Minhal and me were breaking the fast at the same time. And there were times when I'd be talking, literally, about a surah in the Quran, Minhal is across from me. Night one of Shah Ramadan, he's like this. Night two, he's like this. Night 10, he's like this. By night 19, wallah, there was one episode. I'm saying, so, you know, Minhal, you can understand what I'm saying. And I'm looking at him and he's just gone completely like this. <laughs> Minhal al-Khafaji. Therefore, you found that one after the other, there was the combination of all of these. Another person who deserves a mention, and I'm going to mention because it's not all about me. People sometimes mention me a lot in relation to my Hussein TV. I couldn't do any of this without the guys behind the scene. Hussein Zadeh, is Hussein Zadeh here? Where is he? Hussein Zadeh. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where's the camera? 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 Is he there or no? Oh, he's on the crane! Just look at him. Hussein Zada has been 14 for about seven years. Now I don't know if that's an immigration scam, but every year we ask him, "How old are you?" He says 14. Now on one occasion, Hussein Zada, you've got to listen to this. On one occasion, I'm sitting, Minhal's hosting a show. And by the way, Tokyo Minhal, you know sometimes when questions come in, he'll say, for example, Ali from Sweden. True? 
Muhammad from Finland. But sometimes he can't read the name. So he has to make up a name. Once Minhaj looked at me, he's like, Sayyidna, we have a question. Laith from Nigeria. <laughs> Minhal, how many Laiths are in Nigeria? Laith is only in Najaf. There's no one there. Round of applause for Laith over here. <laughs> one day, Minhal looks at me. I said to him, do you know what's special about us in the school of Ahlul Bayt? It's our du'as. The way we talk to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The direct connection with, we have with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's like, yeah, Sayyidina. I'm like, yeah, just look at the ad'iyah. Dua yastashir and dua mujir and for example, dua kumail and dua arafah. And then I'm like, Minhal, you know what? Let's ask the guys behind the scenes what their favorite dua is that talks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala purely. Hussein Zada, what's your favorite one? He's like, Ziyarat Ashura. <laughs> Hussein Zada. What we like at Imam Hussein TV as well is we like to get new recruits in. So all of Ahlul Bay TV's rejects have joined us recently. <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's just because you came to work for us because you love the channel like football players who go to play for United these days. <laughs> but we like new recruits and we have some great new recruits. We really do. And I'm so proud that they've joined us. I can mention them all one by one. But there's other recruits who join us who are of the younger generation as well. Yasser in particular. Where's Yasser? Let's see Yasser over here. Round of applause for Yasser. Where is he? Just look at him. But it's not showing him. Okay, yeah, there you go. Just check how handsome that boy is. Go on, give that smile. Me and Yasser, by the way, have bonded over a shop called Matalan. So there's this shop called Matalan. It's a clothing shop. I've recently discovered it today. You can tell times are hard as well. And we bonded because I'm so proud of him. And we've been going to Matalan regularly. Every time he does something amazing, we go to Matalan, me and him. And Alhamdulillah, we found a size 19 shirt recently. Yasser, I love him. He's a top boy. But one afternoon in Shah Ramadan, I think he was going to stab me. <laughs> Wallah, you know, I, how many of you remember the Quran tafsir every night in Shah Ramadan? And we had two people who were regulars on that tafsir. So what, by the way, Imam Hussain TV is not this thing where it's structured and rigid. Literally, hey guys, who's available? Yes, are you doing anything? No, just come and sit in front of me and make yourself important. Okay. Literally. And so Yasir came and sat in front of me. Wallah, the whole time I'm doing the tafsir, he's just staring at me with the dirtiest look. <laughs> hey, give that look that you gave that day. Give that look on the camera now. That look, I want to see it. No, no, that's not it. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone pause, pause. <sighs> You seen that look that I give when I don't like Imam Hussein TV guys taking too long? And I say, too long? How long? He just looked at me like that. The whole one hour. I'm thinking, what have I said? Have I said something wrong? And he's just like looking at me. And I'll be saying things like, so you know, Rasulullah said this and this. He's like. <laughs> and we love Imam Hussein. The show finished, I'm thinking, you know what, this guy's just gonna come up to me, just gonna. So like, yeah, so you okay? He goes, Yeah, 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 I'm good, Sayyidina. How you doing, man? So I'm like, Yeah, you okay? He goes, Well, I'm, I'm feeling so good. I said, But you look really angry the whole show. He goes, Sayyidina, the munch was all over my head. I was thinking, <laughs> I saw you as like a shawarma in front of me moving. And I was like, I can't wait for this guy just to finish. So that's the quality of the listeners we have to the Quran tafsir of the show. 
By the way, Yasser is one of our youngest and one of our elders, but he is the heart. He is the legend that is Abu Amir. Round of applause. Where is he? Let's see him. We can't see him. Where is he? Oh, he went to Sainsbury's. Okay. I actually think he doesn't want Sweden to find out that he's got two houses. Abu Amir, how many of you would have seen him? He's the elder gentleman who sits in the Quran tafsir to the right. He just sit there and he's listening to me. He hasn't got a clue what I'm saying because he doesn't speak English. So he just look at me like... Now that works most of the time. Except when I say something like, do you think that someone like Imam Hussein would commit a sin? <laughs> Afterwards, I told him, I said, Haji, you can't agree with me on everything. In English, there's something called rhetorical questions. I don't expect an answer from you, but I certainly don't want you going, and then he'll take his phone out and say, look, I'm telling my friends in Sweden that I'm on TV. <laughs> no, don't. So then we have Abu Amir. Recently, we've had some brilliant new transfers. Everyone shout out to Mustafa Mas'ud over here. Where's Mustafa Mas'ud? Mustafa, stand up, stand up, stand up. I've never seen you embarrassed in my life. So stand up. There you go, an excellent new recruit. Where's Maryam al Halli? She's joined us recently as well. Where is she? Round of applause. You don't have to stand up, Maryam. Don't worry about it. Sorry, I'm not going to embarrass you. We're spearheaded, of course, Umm al-Banin. Mentioned ladies and the importance of ladies. Um, and we're spearheaded with a lot of great ladies behind the scenes. I don't really want to call every single one of them out, but they all do a phenomenal job. Zahra Alawi, she must be here as well. She does amazing work. Round of applause for her. All of these people deserved a mention, and especially when Imam Hussein TV took over in COVID. There are two places that I always say took over in COVID. One is my beloved Haidari Islamic Center. Shout out to them. But the other is Imam Hussein TV. When everyone got scared, rightly so, people were panicking, people didn't know what was going on. Our mosques closed, the Husseinias closed. Imam Al Hussein TV said, We will not close. Imam Al Hussein TV was the channel that continued to have live programs at COVID. And so many of you out there who are watching this online, on TV, sitting over here, how many of you, hand on heart, benefited from Imam Al Hussein TV while you were stuck at home, not able to go to Majalis? When therefore, people today come and tell me, donate, or the ticket is 40 pounds, don't think about how much you've given. You can never give back to something that instilled in you the love of Muhammad and Al Muhammad. You can never give back to that medium. Do you know when COVID broke out and we had the Shah Ramadan Majalis that year on Imam Hussain TV, it was the holy month of Ramadan. I don't know how many of you remember, it was my series on death. I gave lectures in that channel by the way, um, uh, Snowy and Mustafa Akhun both had COVID without telling me. I gave lectures on that channel and there was no one in front of me. The cameramen were behind the scenes. They were behind the scenes. It was the most eerie feeling in my life. I was sitting there on the mambar and I was told by said Murtada, who was behind the camera, he just looked at me and he just said, three, two, one, live. For the first time in my life, I gave majalis with no crowd. And all of a sudden, one channel decided that majalis al Hussein will never stop. It doesn't matter if it's Shah Ramadan, COVID, whatever, we'll come in. And we came in and we continue to produce program after program after program. 
There were many in our communities who couldn't. Many were scared. But don't forget those who were able to provide for you knowledge in that period. Those people who brought Majalis al Hussein to your homes, it was this channel. And you know what's so wonderful? The average age of the guys I've made stand up, they're all in their 20s. They're all in their 30s. And it goes to show you that we have a very bright future in our community. And do you know what the sign of our success is? That non-Shia have become jealous of what we're doing. That's the sign of success. Shah Ramadan, last year, night of Eid. Do you guys remember on the night of Eid, we were all sitting in what looked like a real Arab chill. We were sitting on sofas, there was tea. Um, Abu Amir was still nodding at everything that we were saying. You know, Yasir now was happy that Eid was coming. We were all chilling. And people were calling in. Uh, Abu Amir is here. Sorry, I have to. Uh, uh, please, Abu Amir, there he is. There's the most handsome guy at Imam Al Hussein TV. Allah. He's looking good today, huh? Straight to Matala. <laughs> we were sitting, and then people were calling in. Salamu alaikum, we'd like to donate 20 grand, 30 grand, 10 grand, 5 grand, 1,000, 200, 500. People were calling in. I'm sure you remember the show. Backstage said Murtada, Mustafa, Amir, and the guys told me, Do you mind taking some calls in? So, meaning, that would you speak to some of the people who are donating? I said, okay, no problem. First person who called in, Salam Sayyidina, whatever. We had someone who converted actually, who was non Shia, who was and became Shia, and she done her Shahada that night. The next call, we had a person call in, and they said to me, listen, there's someone who wants to speak to you, he's donating 15,000 pounds. His name is Abbas al Samawi. People of Samawi are good people. Abbas, they give 15 grand from Samawi. Let's see. When they called in, suddenly it was someone from Samawi who's got an Iranian accent. That's never happening. And he's like, Salam said, Ammar, keep fighting those people. We're with you the whole way. And then he just suddenly switched and said, when are you going to debate us? What are you waiting for? And they shut the phone. That moment showed us where we are. Because when others who show hate towards us are keeping an eye on our work and have to phone in and do the lowest things, then we know we're successful. Then we know that the message has reached. A group of guys and sisters, of course, a group of brothers and sisters from London, together in one place, were able to make so many people around the world inspired, changed, and even some of them shaking in their boots. And that is the success of this channel. I leave you with three lines, and that's when I become conventional Sayyid Ammar. The first line as to why this channel is of the utmost importance in our lives and has to be supported is because this channel will make sure that we hold on to the recipe of success that the Prophet left us when he said My Prophet said to me, I leave behind for you the Quran and my Ahlul Bayt Hold on to them and you will never go astray. When my prophet says you won't go astray, that is a promise and that is forever. Therefore, the first reason I support this channel is because I'm holding on to the Quran and the Ahlul Bayt through the medium of Imam Al Hussein TV. The second reason, and a huge reason, when Imam Al Sadiq tells his companion, Rahimallah man ahya, ha. Rahimallah man ahya amrana. What's the most important word in that sentence? Rahimallah man ahya amrana. What's the most important word in that whole sentence? Ahya. 
It's as if Imam al-Sadiq alayhi salam was saying that our teachings can reach a level where they're about to die. Because ahya means to give life. Therefore, with Imam al Hussein TV, what are we doing? We're giving life to the teachings, inshallah, of Ahl al Bayt. The third, on the 15th of Sha'ban, one man in Ghaiba addressed another who had died. In Kana Lam Yujib Kabadani and Dastagathetic. وَلِسَانِي عِنْدَ اسْتِنْصَارِكْ فَقَدْ أَجَابَكَ قَلْبِي وَسَمْعِي وَبَصَرِي One man in Ghayba said to another who died, If I couldn't be there in Karbala to support you, and destiny meant I couldn't protect you, then know that my heart and my eyes and my ears are all for you. When that man in Ghayba says that to Imam al Hussein. We repeat the same words tonight with our pledges and donations. That we turn around to Abu Abdullah through Imam Al Hussein TV and we say, inshallah, and everything else that I have in the support of your message. Karbala continues to live in the hearts of all of us and we'll prove it tonight. Thank you all so much for listening. Thank you. Many thanks to our dear Sayyid Amar. Just in case anyone was wondering, Sayyid Amar today is wearing a suit jacket from? Well done, I like this crowd. Sayyid Amar is wearing trainers from? And Matalan's in Crookwood, just so you know, there's lots of um, brothers who have stores there who make very nice short dish dashes. Sayyid Amar, barakallah Thank you very much. Beautiful. So we've got a sound issue. Um, and before we go on, uh, inshallah, we want to sort that out. So the issue is, is that Sayyid Ammar's wireless mic is not working. So we need another handheld one. Please, if not, someone's going to fix it. Sayyid Ammar, you can take the you can take the wireless one. I'll take this one. Ahsan. All right, Habibi. And I'm gonna. It feels so bad being on stage with this guy because you look like the shortest guy in the world, man. Come on, Mr. Six Foot Four. I'm wondering who I'm going to go to to get money off tonight. There's a few I've got my eyes on. Hello, test, test. Is it working? Working, yep. go ahead, man. Say, no, you're not the shortest guy in the world. You're the shortest guy in Western Europe. Don't Thank worry you. about it. Baby, God Pleasure. bless you. Pleasure. Um, God bless. Am I using two mics? <laughs> can, we, can I have that one? <laughs> Is all right? Okay, perfect. Sayyidna, so um, we're going to start with the auction, I yeah. believe. Um, and I, I've written a verse, uh, <coughs> but now I'm standing next to you. There's no way I'm reading it or explaining it. No, don't read so that. I'm, we'll I'm going to have a minhali moment. And I'm, not, I'm not looking forward to that. Wadha nuni, Okay. So it's the... It's a nice, it's a, it's a nice link. Yeah, all right, cool. Go ahead and do it. I'm, no, no, I'm not going to read oh, it. You're not going to read it? we got to catch this blooper. Okay, cool. Um, so the verse is from Surah Al-Hadid, chapter number 57, verse number 11. Ahsant Mullah Ali, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Man da alladhi yuqlul Allahu qardhan hasanan, fa yudha'afu lahu wa lahu ajrun kareem. Translation. Well done. Thank you. Who is he that will lend Allah a goodly loan? Godly. Then Allah will increase it manifold to his credit and he will have a good reward. Sayyidina, I'm going to let you talk about the relevance of that to the next segment, if that's all right. Yeah, that, no, that, that wasn't right. a question. That wasn't a question. It's not all right. <laughs> I just don't feel it. Let's just get straight to getting some money. 
Are you up for that? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Okay. We've got a lot of people smiling here. They look like they're in a good mood. So should we bring, should we bring items or just ask for donations? What do you <coughs> no, prefer to do I, first? I think if we get the items out. Let's get okay. the okay. items out. Cool we'll get some items out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you look at the QR codes, brothers and sisters, on your tables, you probably have seen already, or you've got the brochure in front of you, you can go. The first item that we're going to bring out is the flag of Imam Ali that was in front of the dome. So, uh -huh, the beautiful brothers behind us are going to be displaying it. Please be careful with the flag and welcome the flag of Imam Ali. Salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala. <coughs> wow, okay. So, um, for those of you that don't know, in the shrine of Imam Ali, Amir al-Mu'mineen alayhi salam, the, the, there's no flag specifically on the dome. There's no flag on the dome, Imam Ali, but as you enter the shrine, there is a flag there, and this is the specific flag that was hung there. Um, and so, Sayyidna, you know a lot more of the audience than I do. Who are we picking on to start the bidding? Well, we need to have a price to start the bidding. Well, I think you start with the price, and okay. then we can, uh, we so, can see where we're going. There is, there is Who's a Who's going to start us off? Look, there's uh, a major Amir al Mu'mineen lover yeah. table over yeah, here. Yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, this Ali. one's a major. Right. Like, so, as soon as Mullah Ali recited that wonderful recital, their they eyes were it. up. They lost it. Fantastic. Okay. Zain. So the, the, let's uh, get to Mir Hassan Mir, our reciter is here. Mashallah. Round of applause, Mir Hassan Mir. Hello, Mullah. Mullah. Right, so there is a reserve on the item, um, and inshallah the bidding goes past the reserve. But to start off, we're going to a measly, to be fair, for the flag of Imam Ali, start at a measly 4,000 pounds for this flag. The flag of Amir al Mu'minin that was hung on the entrance to the shrine of Imam Ali alayhi salam. So Haider, whoever wants Haider to kick Islamic us off. Center. Who's here from Haider Islamic Center? I think it'll be great for us. Haider is over there. Over Center. there. Where are they? Huh, In so the corner. Had... Table 35. Mohsin, I think great for our new center. A good shout out. Definitely, I think we should go ahead. Salim, bye. Yes? How Let's much? 5,000 pounds. 5,000 pounds. Round Fantastic. of applause over here. 5,000. Great. So we'll go up in increments just to take it easy to start. We're not going to jump up a grand every time. We'll jump with 500 pounds. So we've got 5,000 pounds from Haider Islamic Center. I hope there's someone from Stanmore in the audience now. <laughs> Encourage a bit of competitive spirit. If not, then... Stanmore, is Stanmore going to get this? Are they going to get Stanmore this? Is Stanmore here? Is anyone from Stanmore here? You don't need to have a meeting, by the way, to bid for this. You can actually do <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. So we want to go to 5-5. Five, five. We've five, got 5,000 five. pounds confirmed. 5-5 five, five to have the flag of Imam Ali, alayhi salam, in your home. We're also, by the way, Sayyidina, taking bids over the telephone yep. uh, from the viewers watching at home. So we've got a few people who are on the phone. So the brothers um, who normally eat KFC, as you mentioned, say, are taking those calls for us, which is great. So any telephone bidders, please let me know in the earpiece. Um, yeah, but for brothers and sisters at home, if you want to join in the bid, then you're more than welcome to do so. There's about a 30 second delay, so we might get some I, I, I think I think 5,000 pounds is a great price. I really do. I really do. I think we go with that. Are you sure? Yes, yes, go ahead. 5,000 pounds. It's, listen, it's my mosque, so I think we definitely <laughs> have to go ahead with it. Round of applause, Haidari Islamic Center. What's next? Yeah. I'm going to but Sayyid Ammar just closed the bidding. Oh, sorry, guys, at the back. Sorry if I closed it. No, just to let you know, we had, we had an update saying that I told you, are you, are you sure you said yes? Do you have an earpiece in or no? No. Okay, so let me close the bidding just in case as we go. All right, cool. We have a, we have a bid from Dubai over the telephone um, for, for £5,500. So this is a true test of Haideri Mosque to see how much they love Imam Ali. If they want to win the flag, then they need to... That was a bit harsh, I know it was a bit harsh. But come on, we're making money, it's fine. Right, okay. And not, not, so, just, not just them. Huh? Everybody else. Everybody Adi else. Haider, I've already? got 5500 on the phone, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I just announced that. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so we have 5,500 on the phone from Dubai, right? Yes, from Dubai. Um, and so, if, if, if that's it, then, then that's it. But hi, Daddy. Jamaatik. Huh? Huh? Let's yes, start. Nathan. We need more volunteers in the whole 
So we're going up in increments of 500 pounds. Leif, what are we saying? We have a bid. We've got something there. MashaAllah. 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 Absolutely amazing. So Al Majlis Al, al Hussaini have Husseini made a bid of 10,000 British pounds. Over here, a round of applause for him, please. Ahsent. Haj Abu Yusra and his son Leif. Barakallah Leif, Bikum. Ahmed Al Bayati, the Mashallah. whole crew, everybody Mashallah. here. God bless you. God and in bless fact, them. They purchased it and also want to donate it back to Imam Hussain TV. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the bidding on that one. And we're going to put it towards the back end of the auction and resell it later. So, Salah ala Muhammad wa ahli Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ahli Haji Haydar, just an announcement from Al Haj Abu Yusra Al Balaghi. He yes, has please. gifted the flag to Haydari Islamic Center. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ahli Muhammad. Wa akhur rasul huwa zawju al batul huwa abu al hasanayn. Huwa sultan al awliya huwa ibn amm al nabi huwa durru hal ata. هو وارث الأنبياء هو عروة الوثقة كلمة الحسنى سيد الأوصياء عماد الأصفياء ركن الأولياء هو خير المؤمنين هو أول المؤمنين هو إمام المتقين هو أول العابدين هو أزهد الساهدين هو زين الموحدين هو حبل الله المتين هو قبلة المسلمين وجه الله عين الله روح الله يد الله سيف الله باب الله علم الله حجة الله ليث الله كلمة الله هو خازن الحلم منتهى الحلم قال سلوني سلوني قبل أن تفقدوني صفوة المرسلين قائد الغر المحجلين أمير المؤمنين أسد الله الغالب غالب كل غالب علي ابن أبي طالب الله so our lovely younger brothers are going to bring up the item, inshallah. This painting um, was commissioned for TV by Sadiqa Jamal. It's an abstract painting of the Kaaba. The painting, when I say the word painting, it's always coming in. Ah, The bidding, this one's a bit easier, probably on the pocket for some of you, brothers and sisters. We're going to start the bidding at 250 pounds. We have 250 pounds in the corner here on the left. Thank you, brother. And by the way, Sadiqa Jama has won a number of competitions for her art. So, not just a random artist, she's won a number of world um, competitions Ahsent. for her art. It's a lovely design, it's, it's a really cheap price, I think. Yeah, 250. So, we're looking to there is a reserve yep, on this yeah. product, so we have 300 pounds. 400. 400 ahsent. 400 pounds, and we keep going. Someone, there, 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 there. In the middle, Haj Imad. Round of applause for Haj Imad. 5,000 pounds. <laughs> he caught him on that one. We'll knock off a zero. How much? 450. 450. Fantastic. On the sister side, you don't have to shout anything out. You can just put your hand up, by the way, and there's a sister walking around who will take your bids as well, so don't be shy. Haj Imad is sweating now. I know, I know, I know. No, he's not. He's, he's not. regretted Haj Qasim he's telling not. him just Don't make a bit so it continues. Haj Imad. Anyone else? Anyone? 500? We're 500? going to give you fair warning 500? now. Someone round it off on 500? To be fair, for a painting, for a painting, you end up spending four, five hundred pounds in any case, yeah. let alone one yep. that's donating. 500 pounds? Barakallah. Haj Salim pounds. Jalil from the Lebanese community. Mashallah. Round of applause for him. Mashallah. Precisely the reason we put him on the front table. Yeah. yeah, we're only going up in 50s, by the way. So 550 wins it at the moment, which isn't a massive investment for a painting. 550. 550 pounds. 550. 600. 600. 600. 650. 
The Rome boys. 700. The Rome boys are going at it. <laughs> 700. You can't ask him if he wants it. You're bidding against him. 700. 700. 750. You give it to him. It's only 50 quid more. You might as well. Ahsan Sayyid. You might as well. That's what you spent in Dior in Rome. It's okay. <laughs> 700 will get you a whole new wardrobe from Matalan, by the way. Right, so. 750, anyone? Sisters in the back. Top right, top left, brothers. Sister Rima Janine wants it for 1,000. 1,000, Rima. Yeah, is that confirmed? No, <laughs> it's not. So, we were at 750? Or was 700? Oh, she's still alive. There you go. Fantastic. Um, okay, so 700 pounds. God bless you, brother. And that over is... Over here, over here. 700 pounds in the middle there. 700 pounds. 750 now, actually. 1,000 pounds here. 1,000 pounds, mashallah. Round Table of applause, 33. please. 1,000 pounds here. By the way, I was always told that from a... From, uh, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I was just going to say, I was always told from a young age, anytime you mention money of any sorts or anything like that, it's a bit like awkward for a lot of people. But in the way of giving for Imam Hussein, yeah, tada, cool. I'm going to get people, I'm going to ask you to give us money because it is for Imam Hussein. So I'm, I was, it's not going to be awkward at all. So if you want to spend your money, feel free to do it now. Right, so we have a thousand pounds from the brother there. Any other bids? Yep, yeah. one, one. We're going up in increments of a hundred now, by the way. So 1,100 for our dear brother here. One, two. 1,100 we had there. You increase? We had an increase for one, one. We'll go for one, two. 1,200 two. We're going for one three. Yep, one three. One four, brother. One four. One five. One seven fifty. One thousand seven hundred fifty. Two thousand pounds. Why not? Barakallah big. Two two fifty, brother. Stopped at two thousand. We stopped. We stopped at two thousand pounds. Any other new bidders? New bidders are welcome. Sisters on the right, there's a sister in the middle who's got a microphone if you want to say something. If not, you can just put your hand up and we're happy to take your bid. If not, going once to our brother here. Any other bids? Any bids from the phone? Imam Hussein TV crew? If not, going twice. 2,500. 2,500 pound. Round of applause, please. Sorry, sorry, 2,100. 2,100. We're going up in increments of 250. So I'll take 2,250 from you and that'll be fine. Brother, 25. Yep, 25. 2,500. I'm going to take the maybe as a yes every time, by the way. So 2,750, brother. 2,600. We're going up in increments of 250. So 2,750, brother. Barakallah Beek. 2,750. 3,000, brother. Let him have it. You sure? You've been bidding for a long time now. And you, you mentioned that your wife's going to spend and whatever, and there's a big room of people. I don't want to stick on you like this, Shani, but it's too... Are you sure? Okay. So to our brother here, any new bidders from the audience? If not, I'll give you all fair warning. This is going at 2,750 pounds. Going once. Going twice. Haji? No, I'm just going to announce his name. He's going to announce his name. Gone right. to our dear brother in the middle. Salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala. Brother Ja'far Rada. God bless Table you. 33. Beautiful. Next item. Next item is pure Karbala sand. Okay. So it's a vial of sand that has been bought from the renovations. And I'm not sure how many meters deep the excavation mm. was. Uh. But I'm going to have hopefully somebody in my ear shout that out at me very, very shortly. And many, many people always ask about the pure earth hey. of Karbala. It's very hard to get hold of. Mm. You, you, you could go on the streets of Karbala. They will sell, for example, Torab or Moors and so on. But the pure, pure earth is hard to get hold of. This is a jug of pure earth from around the grave rather than from the outskirts, for example. I'd, I'd like to add that you can probably see from the size of this vial, it's considerably large. So I would want tables to help bid with each other for this vial because you could split that really, really easily, right? And you could have a piece of Karbala in your home. So we're not going to start that high on this one because I want to encourage bidders and you can bid as a table. So if there's 10 sisters that want to throw in 50 pound each, we're going to start the bidding this on this vial of pure 
dust from Karbala at only 500 pounds. I've got 1,000 pounds. You've got 1,000 pounds. We're going to start at 1,000 pounds. Table of 10, that's only 100 each. We're going up to 1,250. Any bidders for 1,250? Remember, we believe that this is a cure for the human being as well. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. you may have family or friends who may go through a hardship. You can always help them. Fantastic. We've got 1,250 pounds at the back. Barakallah Bikum. Next bid, one five. Table of 10 ladies, tables of a table of 10 brothers. For one five, 150 pounds each. At Shifa fi Turbati. Ahsent. One five anywhere? I thought that would make more than the painting, Sayyid. Yeah, it's amazing. Maybe someone. But I still think there's someone out there. There will be someone out there. There is, okay. Yep. Yes. One five for Abbas. our brother here. Abbas Ali Dina. How much? How much? One five. One, One five. five. Who were you having the, the other bid from? At the back. At the back. In the earpiece. Yep. Two. One seven fifty. Two thousand, brother. Barakallah Beek. We're going up in five hundred now at the back, Shabab. So the next bid needed is 2.5. Current bid is 2,000. We have 2,500 pounds next to Sayyid Hassan. What is it, yep. Sayyid Hassan? 2.5. Fantastic. Next bid for 3,000 pounds. Yep. 3,000 pounds at the front from our brother Sayyid Hassan. 3.5 for the next bid. Brothers at the back. 3.5 needed for the next bid. Is it 3.5 or 3? It was 3. So 2.5 is the current bid, next bid. Yeah, you got three, Sayyid? No? Boys at the back from the phone bidding? No, nope. current bid, 2,500 pounds. If anybody wants to come in, I'm happy to accept 2,750 pounds. Any of the sisters as a table? Two tables, there's enough to share it around. What do we have, Hajj Ali? Yes. 2750. 2750. Fantastic. £3,000. Our dear brother. Yep, in the Dapper Blazer. Fantastic. £3,000. £3,000. £3,000 has been hit already. We've got 3000 So we need 3 5 3 5 next bid. You can't bid when you're already winning the bid. Yeah, Abu Abdullah. 3250. Fantastic. 3250. 3250. No, no. I'm going up in 250s. I've got the mic, you're down there. I'm going up in 250. Three, I'll give him the 50 quid, don't worry. 3250. 3250. Brother, 35. 35. Yes. 35. 3750. Not 37, say it. Hajj Ali. Hey. No pressure. No pressure. Say it. 3750, Hajj Ali Rada. 3750. 4K? 4K, why not? 4K, Hajj Ali Four and a half. Say it, Hassan. This is a Haidari battle, by the way. Hey, I can see it. It just shows you why we're miles <laughs> ahead, man. Haider is winning every, every bid. Four, four five, say it. Four, five? We're on 4K at the moment. Give him the eyes. Give him the eyes, okay. <laughs> if he doesn't close his eyes, just say yes and take it. It's fine. What are we on? What are we on? Four, we're five? We're on 4,000 pounds at the moment to our but I didn't catch his name, Sayyid. Abbas. 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 Barakallah, Beek. 4,000. Abbas in the beautiful blazer. Very, very nice. If we're going with Abbas, then we'll come back to Hajji Ali for something else. Okay. Yalla. Ah. Abbas once. Twakal. Twakal. Yep, Twakal. So, Ab going Abbas twice. Fair warning for everyone twice to Abbas. What second? Sayyid. Salla ala Muhammad wa Ali oh, Muhammad. One second. Wait, wait, wait. One second. Oh, oh. One second. Get luck. One second. Hajji Ali Rada. 4750. 4750. I've got to see them in the mosque next Thursday ha night. <laughs> Hajji Abbas, should we, should we Abbas. stop? 4750. 5k needed. <laughs> 5k, that's a steal for the dust from Karbala, to be fair. 5k, Abbas? Yeah? 5k, okay, we're at 5,000 pounds. Say it, Hassan, 5-5, five, five, please, I want. Let's make it a bit scarier so it's not as easy to say yes. 5-5. Five, five. Let them join together, both yeah, of them. Abdullah. Abbas is not having it, tell her. No. <laughs> Really 5,000 pounds going once, going twice. I'm not coming back from this. 5-5. Five, five. Five, five. Fantastic. Barakallah. Big salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah. Abbas, your decisions are quick. Theirs are taking a while. Six. Go, Bismillah. Go, let them have it. 
Okay? We'll let them have it in one. Fair warning to everyone. This is going for 5,500 pounds, going twice. Gone, mashallah, to our dear brother for 5,500 pounds. Salla ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Our dear brother, Hajj Ali, oh. Nur Ali, thank you very much. Number four, genuinely, when I was given the list of these auction items, this for me was the one that stuck out the most. It's absolutely beautiful. So, it's a rug. Um, inshallah, the brothers will bring it out now. It's been framed, okay? Um, but it, it, it is a rug that was in the shrine of Sayyida Ruqayya, alayhi salam. Wow. Wow. Okay? It's, it was gifted from... Uh, someone's pointing at me saying it's handmade. Of course it is. It was in the Sayyidah Raqayah Shrine. It's not going to be machine made. Right. So, top stuff here. Right. So, this was gifted to the channel by the Ataba from Damascus. It's a rug that has been in the shrine, been prayed on in the shrine, been next to the grave of Sayyidah Sakina. Sayyidah Sakina in Iraqi Sayyidah Raqayah, um, Habibat al Hussein. So, please, let the khaloon. What's the translation, Haji? Don't stingy it up. Don't stingy it up for Sayyidah Ruqayya. She deserves it, okay? So, we're going to start the bidding on this one. There is a reserve on it. And we're going to start the bidding There's at 2,500 pounds. There's ladies who are there. Ladies in the corner. Hands up if you want it for 2,500 pounds. This is time to make amends. After they all attacked you, the poor ladies. Three thousand in the back. Three thousand in the back, mashallah. So th bid at three thousand. We'll go to three five. I'm happy to accept three two fifty if somebody Ma wants. Many of you listen to the masaib of Sayyidah Raqayya or you know Bibi Sakina. Now you can have that directly at home from her shrine. Allah. This is huge. You're having a majlis at home. You have this. You can't have better combinations than this. Sayyid Hamid, three thousand two hundred and fifty. Yep. From Sayyid Hamid? Yes. Barakallah, big Sayyid. 3,250. We're going to 3,5 now. Abbas, you missed yes. that last time. 3,5. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is the beginning of a championship battle. Abbas, Most you of this, this table one, doesn't no? know about that anymore. 5,000 from Dubai. So we just got 4,000 at the back in my ear, and then we got 5,000 in Dubai. Okay. We got 5,000 from the front, from the lads. Um, Say it, someone at the front has told me we've got 5,000. 5,000, you sure, from Dubai? Yep. Yeah. 5K from 5K. Dubai. Thumbs up, okay. 5,5? Five, 5,5? Five. Five, five. 5,500. Five. Five Let's see what the internet connection is like in Dubai. We've got 5,5 five here. Back to Dubai, where we'd all like to be. <laughs> 6,000 from the back, say it. 6,000 from 6, the back. 6,000. From Abu Amir. Abu Amir, mashallah. Abu Amir, Abu Amir. Amir. Definite pay rise recently. Amazing. And look, he's just going to be nodding. He hasn't got a clue. All of the funds from tonight are going to Abu Amir. Right. We've got 5,5. Five, 6,000 pounds. Yep, 6,000 pounds. 6,5. Six, we got 6,5 at the back. 7. No, back there. We're at 6,5 at the back. Yep, 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 yep. It's the result. Six, six, five. six five from the back. Six five. So we're at six five currently, Sayyidna. Seven. 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 Okay. Seven. Yes, yes, sir. Seven there. Seven thousand from the back. Okay, we got seven there because you've done the bit at the same time. I'll give you seven two fifty if you want it. Akbar Foundation. Yeah. That's a nod. Put your hand up for me so I can see it if you want it. Yeah. Ashdi dek. Seven two fifty. We got seven five at the back. Seven five. Said Akbar Haidar. seven seven fifty. Said Haidar eight. Said Haidar eight. We had an announcement from a sister for Mike as well, but sorry, we were speaking of you. Apologies. Is there a bid from the woman's side? What are we at now? Well, at the moment, we're at seven five, and that's come from the back. Eight. 8,000 8, pounds at the front pounds. here. 8,000 in the front. At the back, happy to accept 8,250 if they want it. Ideally, 8,5. Yes, yes, at the back. How much? How long? 8,250. 8, Perfect. Nine? Nine? Let's say that, okay, don't let it go. Nine. Got in the kid nine, we've got 9,000 pounds at the front. MashaAllah. 9,000 at the front. 
at the back, do we have nine five? We have ten we at have the back. Thousand in the back. Wow. Saving yourself, or do you want it for eleven? Saving yourself. We have we have ten thousand at the back. Okay, and I'm, I've been told the bid has been done by. Say it one more time. The Ark of Salvation, ten thousand pounds. This is fair warning for everyone. I'm going to let it go after three. Going once at ten thousand pounds. They're from Bradford, mashallah. God bless you. So Bradford is brother from Haidari. Haidari. Zahir Shah, ten thousand pounds. 10,000 pounds from Brother Zahir Shah from Bradford. Ark of Salvation going once, going twice. Where I was at. Gone. Salla ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Yeah, now if you're going to give telephone bids, I need more communication. Go next to Sayyid. I've got an earpiece and I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'm not going to be looking and waiting for WhatsApp. So you've got 10,000 pounds. Well done. Congratulations. And you are the proud owner of a piece of Sayyid al Qayyah shrine. God bless you. Right. So. That was number four. Number five, we go on to arguably the most useless thing you could ever buy. Bring it out, that's fine, bring it out. The most useless thing you could ever buy. It's a shirt and it's signed by a dude called Luis Diaz, decent player. Uh, <laughs> right, I'm gonna start the bidding at seven pounds 50 if anyone wants it. 7.50, Ali Amin. No, I'm just joking. I'm not starting at 750. Said, what's that worth nowadays? A sun shirt? Huh? I think you need to have Who's that? Hassan wears it? Yeah. He has to wear it. Said, Hassan, Hassan Nawab. Wears it, what are you going to pay? Thousand pounds if you wear it. Said, Hassan Nawab, where are you? Said, Hassan Nawab. If you wear this t shirt, it's going to be tight because Luis Diaz is a small lad. But if you wear it for the rest of the evening, then our dear brother has mentioned he will pay a thousand pounds for it. No, if he wears it, it the rest of the evening. Oh, just huh? put it on. Just put oh, it that's on. that's easy. He'll do that. On stage Hassan. or there, anywhere. Listen, that could on hurt camera. some people's eyesight if they see said Hassan with a tight t-shirt. On camera. To be honest, I think people are willing to, wow, I'm not going to take your offer because Sayyid Hassan's a holy guy. People will pay more than that if Sayyid uh -huh. Hassan puts it on. Who will pay more than a thousand pounds if Sayyid Hassan puts like, this t-shirt like, on? Five thousand pounds. You'll do it for 5K? 5K, okay. He'll, he'll do it for just 5K. Put, just put the context here. Right. He's a hardcore United fan. He is. And he's going to wear a Liverpool player's shirt. This is massive. He'll do it for five. Are we going to barter or are we just going to agree to the five? Ha, huh. Sayed Hassan, 5K, rest of the evening. Rest of you the evening. take off that burgundy the bow tie evening. and the suit. Rest of the evening, 5K. For Imam Say, Hussein. Sayed Hassan, for Imam Hussein, would you do it? Yeah, but if the, if the shirt is a size small and... I'm oh, sorry, he didn't say he wants a shirt that's not ripped at the end of the night. He just Faisal, said Faisal, 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 what's happening, Faisal? We can bid here. Fantasy football teams. Faisal, you were doing a runner just as I was asking you to bid. <laughs> Faisal. <laughs> ah, okay, duty calls, all right. Right, so say it, Hassan, rest of the evening, 5K. This is all in your hands, by the way. You can't look the other way, boy. You're the guy who has to wear it. So... Give me a thumbs up, Sayyid, and we're good to go. 5,000 pounds for Imam Hussein TV. He said yes. He's yes. Of course, he's going yes. to say yes. Salla ala yes. Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Don't worry. Oh. I'm going to grab that off you, please, because a, a deal is a deal. I'm going to ask one of the kind brothers here to make a way to find to give that to Sayyid Hassan. Sun, sun. Take it. Unpack it. Sayyid Hassan, get ready. He's just ruined the signed football shirt. <laughs> Fantastic. That signed right. football shirt's got ruined. Beautiful, thank you very much. Barakallah, big brother, lovely, lovely bid. Um, Teddy, Teddy, take some number six is that. another painting. Size small, this is gonna be. Oh my God. This is phenomenal. This is dhulm. Sayyid Hassan, please do not put it on. Luis Diaz, now do live not here, watch go this. put it on in the background somewhere. This is, this is gonna be good. This is a disaster. This is like Mustafa Akhun's t-shirts. Continue while he wears it. Continue, he's gonna go in the back and wear it. Okay, cool. So by the way, just before um, somebody pays 20K for somebody to wear something for the next bit, I'm gonna let you know what's coming up <laughs> so you don't get rid of all your money, right? <laughs> so we've got item number six is a painting by Sister Zainab al-Khazaz, which is a painting of Sayyidah Zainab. All right, fans, there we go. Um, and it's called Nothing But Beauty. Bro hold it there for a second, guys, while I run through. Item number wow, seven. Wow, wow, wow. 
Hand painted, Haji Haidar. Beautiful. Well done, Zainab. Hand painted, an absolutely phenomenal painting. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it is called I Saw Nothing But Beauty. Correct me if I'm wrong. It is, I'm getting nods, fantastic. Um, hand painted and signed, I presume as well. Again, popular artist. Um, and this one's probably, uh, you know, looking at the, how much did the last one go for? Five grand. Five grand, okay. We'll start, we'll start this one. Very easy, because I want, I want to get a lot of people involved in this one, and I want to get some new bidders involved as well, because I'm seeing some regular faces. So, some of the sisters, if you want to bid, feel free. I'm going to start at 500 pounds. We have 1,000. All right, all right. Okay, we'll start. At the we'll back start. with Fabian. Don't shout. Right, so 1,000 pounds at the back. Fantastic. So, we got one. We got one, 250. One, 250. One, five at the back. Sister Mariam. One, five here on the right-hand side. God bless you. We're on one, five. One, seven, fifty. Say it, Hassan, after the bit, I'll bring him on. Say it, Hassan, come on, stay, come on, come on, stay, come on, stay. Bring him on, let's bring him on. Let's bring him on. Welcome, Say it, Hassan, in a small size Liverpool shirt. Just watch this. Shirt, shoot. Open it, open it. Say it, say it, say it, come here, come here. No, 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 no. People pay good money for No, 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 no. Say it, Hassan, it's going to get really weird because we're going to stop and not do anything. No, no, it's going to get open, trust me. Zian, remember the bid? The bid was 1750? Yeah? Was it? Yes. He shouldn't. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please take it off, put it in the box, and give it back to his rifle owner for it rips. Right. So we're on one five. We're on one five. Do we have one seven fifty? Yes, in the corner. Two thousand in the corner. Two thousand. Two five. Two thousand in the back. Yep. Great no. house gift. It's wonderful. It's say the Zainab looking at what looks like candles in the middle of Karbala. The Euphrates is there. Beautiful. Oh, we have another bit at the back. It's amazing. Yep, really 2250. Is, is that two, okay? It's good. It's good. 2500. 2000, how much? 2500. 900, mashallah. 500. 500, okay, sorry. 3K? 3000 here. 3000? Fantastic. 3.5 at the front. 4K here. 4.5, boys. 4.5. 4.5. 5K, 5K. 5.5 here. Five and a half. We've got five and a half at the front already. Sorry, six at the back if you want six. it. Six. Six thousand. Six thousand. Six five. Six five. Anyone? Ha, say the real chunus sabah. Ha, ha, abal wiyaya. It's on six thousand. Yep. Yeah. We got it. Six five. We have another bit. At seven the back. over here. Mashallah. We've got seven from the sisters on the right hand side. God bless you. Do we seven have and seven and a half? Seven and a half. Fantastic. Seven and a half from the brothers. Sisters, don't let the men win. Eight. I think we have a bidder on the phone. Just wait a bit. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Seven and a half. At the moment, by, if I'm not mistaken, Al Akbar Foundation. God bless them, yeah? Seven and a half. Sisters, do we have eight? MashaAllah. Well, that's a beautiful painting, to be honest. It really is. And I think as well, we don't lose sight that what you're paying for is not just the painting, but also a donation to the channel and all the wonderful work that they do, right? So let's not lose sight of that as well. So we're on seven and a half at the moment. Sister in the front. We have eight here. Eight from a new bidder. MashaAllah. We have 8,000 pounds bid at the front. Eight and a half at the back, boys. No? Sisters yeah, on the phone. They're done as well. They're done as well. Fair warning to everyone that after three, I'm going to let this go for 8,000 pounds. Going once to our dear sister at the front. Oh, here oh. we go. Fantastic. Eight, five. There we go. Nine. It's his. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> he just wanted to donate more to the cause. Why not? Right. So, going once, going twice, 8,500 pounds to our dear brother. Sold. I can't have the bank. Do the bank please. Do it. There you oh, go. Sold. MashaAllah. Salli ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Well done. Fantastic work by our lovely audience. Well done. That was item number six. Item number seven. Ooh, okay. So we need to take a, mi a moment to explain what this is, right? So in the shrine of Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, uh, not long ago, they done an extension of the area of the Dharih, where the Imam is buried. Before then, there was a stone, one stone, you can bring it out. There was one stone 
where the holy head of Imam al Hussein was. And so to let the Zuwar and the visitors of the shrine know that this was the head of Imam al Hussein. So when you pray, don't pray directly on the head, leave a space. Or for example, when you do a ziyara and there's a bit of the ziyara that says you need to go to the holy head, that was like, this stone, right? This tile in the refurbishment was taken out because they expanded the area. When it was taken out, they took a very small piece of it and they gave it as a gift to a mullah in Karbala, a reciter of Latmiyat called Sayyid Hassan al-Karbalai. We know him, right? Big reciter in Karbala. And they gave him a small piece. He took the small piece. That the rest of the tile is in the museum in Karbala, in the Ataba of Imam Hussein Shrine. The rest of it is there, okay? So this mullah has taken this piece of stone. He said, listen, this is a, a weighty thing to have. For 70 years, this has been on top of the head of Imam Hussein. Over right? 70, Haji. Over 70 years, al -afu. Okay. Close to 80. There are people, I spoke to Haji Qasim, the director of the channel. He told me, I've been there when I was a kid. I've cried on this stone. He goes, everyone used to walk by. The, the, the millions of zuwar that have been to the shrine of Imam Hussein have cried on this stone. So the mullah was like, look, this is a heavy, heavy thing to have. And I'm not sure I'm, I know exactly what to do to it. I'm going to give it as a gift to Imam Hussein TV in Karbala. Okay? They took this small piece of stone that was given. Remember, the big piece is in the museum. The Atab is not letting it go. It stays in the museum. And they made two rings with it. Okay? So we have two rings. We have a gent's ring and we have a lady's ring. Just to let you know, you're bidding on one of the rings. Because I've been told that the other ring we want to take to a gala dinner in Canada. Although, I have been told that if somebody wants, really wants it, then maybe we'll bring it back at the end of the auction. But for the moment, we're bidding for one ring. Up to you. The winner of the, of the bid can choose. And if you'd like to buy both, again, we can discuss. I was told um, that as an absolute minimum, it has to be the same price that the other one sold at. Um, so that's where the bidding will start, that if that is the case. Seven, apparently, we've got 7,000 already. Yes, we have seven already. 7,000. Okay. Fantastic. So we're going to start the bidding at a bid we already have, which is 7,000 pounds, Sayyid Hassan. You can take the Liverpool... Oh, can he take it? No, he can't take it off. No. So we said the whole night, didn't we? Yeah. Right, so... Remember, these rings, by the way, and I think this is a very rare thing to say by any auctioneer, and by no means am I an auctioneer. Say that, are you an auctioneer? I doubt no, either. No, no. Uh, but this is a one of one. Okay, so there's one of these rings in the world. There is no other ring like this in the world ever. And it will never be created because that tile... They're going to put the pictures of the museum on the screen. So this is the actual piece that it was taken from that is in the museum of Imam al Hussein. So they're not going to break it off and make a ring now. This is a one of one, gents, and a one of one ladies ring. So any ladies who want to go for it, go for it. Or if you want to text your husbands now and say, buy it now, do that now as well. And we're starting the bidding at £7,000, which we already have. We have 8,000 8, pounds at the back. We're going up in thousands at the moment, so we'll carry on. Do we have 9,000 pounds from anyone in the audience? Remember, this is a one of one. Over 70 years in the shrine of Imam al Hussein, above the holy head of Imam al Hussein, prayed upon by millions of worshippers, cried upon by millions of worshippers. Genuinely, an amazing opportunity to have a piece of the shrine. In, with that much intimacy in your, on your hand, it's, it's actually, actually pretty phenomenal. How much did Rasul Adam sell their mosque for? Allow it. I don't know, but let's see if we can get... You can Say never get money over there. <laughs> Once those turbans are on, you're not getting money. So, we have a bid of 8,000 pounds. 8,500, anyone? Yep, yep. we have 8,500 eight at the front from our dear brother. 8,500 at the front. Nine thousand. We have nine. We're gonna go up in thousands now. So the next bid, hopefully, will be ten. We have nine at the back. Do we have ten at the front? We have ten at the front. We have Father, ten. Do we have eleven at the back? We've got ten at the front. Eleven thousand. Yep, yeah, we have eleven thousand at the back. Do you have twelve at the front, guys? For the viewers on TV as well. It's, it's a real one-on-one. -on -one. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. One -on -one. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. It's not available anywhere not else available in the anywhere. world. 
It was in the shrine of Imam Hussein for over 70 years. And for the uh, brothers and sisters viewing from home, you are more than welcome to call in. At the moment, we have 10, am I right? Am I correct? 11,000. Sorry, 11,000 pounds. And we're coming back to the front for 12. Yep. We have 12 at the front. Do we have 13 at the back? Yes, we have 13. Yeah, genuinely a one of one is worth, it's, it's priceless. There's no way you can put a price on it. So no matter what price this ends on, genuinely, brothers and sisters, it's a steal because it's a, it is a one of one. It is a priceless item. So we're at 13. Do we have 14? 14, the number of Masumin. We got 15? We've got 15, Maria. 15th Sha'ban for 15. <laughs> Tomorrow, 16, 16. 15,000. MashaAllah. 15,000, MashaAllah. Salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Right, so brothers and sisters on TV, feel free to call in the bid. And brothers on the earpiece, let me know and speak a bit louder when you speak to me because I can't really hear you that well. We have 15,000 pounds from the back. Do we have 16 at the front, brothers? No? 15,5, I'll let you in if you want. Hundred and twenty four thousand pounds. Wow. Did you say that's the the bid you're giving or the number we're looking for? Your club oh, okay. is not oh. winning anything. You might as well win a bid. Right, so the current bid that is in the lead is fifteen thousand pounds, which is genuinely, genuinely a steal. Because as mentioned, this is a one of one. It's the only ring of its kind. Thank you very much. And so at the moment it's at fifteen thousand pounds. Yeah. Brothers at the front, anyone else? I'm happy to accept a 15.5 if you want to come in. We're going to give it a second for the phone lines as well. Anyone that wants to come in at 15.5? Yep. Go ahead. Yep. Happy to go ahead? Yes, say it. Right, so that's going to go once. 15,000 pounds, fair warning to everyone that going twice. No more bids, that's gone three times. Salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. One second, please. Just to let you know, this is a one of one brothers or sisters ring. So it's a male or female ring. To the winner, please decide, uh, the winner of that bid, if you'd like to go for the male or the female ring. And if there's anybody else, um, inshallah, if you can let us know as soon as possible on my earpiece, I'll announce that. Male or female? No? There's two rings. Both. Both? They want both. They want both. That'll be 30,000 pounds for both or one for 15. But Haji says go. Oh, the, we, have, we have to auction it separately. Okay, so you guys chat about that while we bring out the next... Yeah, let's bring out the next item. You guys can deal with that because this is going on in my ear and I don't have a clue what's going on right now. But that was number seven. Number eight is a very, very, very unique piece as well. And they all are, mashallah. But this one, if you bring it out, it's a stone, Sayyid Ammar, from the grave of Imam al-Hasan, alayhi salam. From Baqir. How did they manage to get that? A link of a link of a link, subhanAllah. Who? So, credit to Sheikh Muhammad al-Halli. Credited to Sheikh mm. al-Halli. And yeah, he did say, I think there was a, there was a, a janazah that was going around and he, he walked in with them and then he done a, a right and came back and took some Allah. of the stones. Mashallah. So, he's, so not, he's not getting a visa anymore now. That Imam Al-Hassan is known as Kareem, <laughs> Kareem wa Ahlul Bayt. So please be generous in the bidding. I was told in my earpiece that we're going to start. We've got a reserve on this. Do we say it? Okay, so we're going to start on this one. We've got a bid at £4,000. A piece of the grave of Imam al Hassan. And we're accepting okay. 4250 to start with. Haydar, we're getting two rings for 30 now. We're getting Masha two Allah. rings for 30, mashallah. Salla ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Amazing. God bless you. And you have now. The only two rings in the world that are made from that stone and for 30,000 pounds, I mean, that's nothing. Harry Maguire gets 10 times that a week. All right, so, come on, Harry Maguire. Okay. 
So 4250, 4250 for the stone framed from the grave of Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam. 4250. 4250, thank you very much. 45, next bid. Four five for the next bid, brothers and sisters. Sayyid Hassan. Blaze Ahmed for glass. Why is Sayyid Ahmed? I asked you. I'll turn. I'll turn. Mom is glass. Why? Bring me a samosa or something, man. I'm starving. Four five. Dinner needs to come down, by the way. Everyone's really hungry. Bring the dinner down for everyone. It's a great I time while we're doing this. Then we can take our time. Thanks, thanks, Habib. Honestly. One, 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 go ahead. No, no, honestly. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. Ash, either. Four, five. Anyone? If not, fair warning that this is going at 4,250 pounds. Ah, send Sayyidna. 4,250 pounds going once. Sayyidna, ready? Sayyidna. Going twice at 4,250 pounds. Any of the sisters that were bidding earlier? If not, final call. Sold at four thousand two hundred and fifty pounds. Well done, well done, well done. The next one or the next piece again. Got two more. As I mentioned, there are actually three more pieces that are coming up, and the next piece is a tile from the shrine of Al Abbas alayhi salam. Wow. Before the refurbishment, this has been over seventy years on the shrine next to the dharih of Al Abbas alayhi salam on the shrine. As you enter the shrine, it's a Tile. In fact, there's a bit on the back. Is there a bit on the back there? What's that? Yeah, is there is Sayyid. What does it say, Sayyid? No. Yeah, it says uh, a unique tile piece from Cricklewood. <laughs> Allow it, Sayyid. Sorry, sorry. You're st they're supposed to realize afterwards, not now. <laughs> you, need to, you, you have to read it properly now. You can't just stop there. You've got to read it properly now. All right, I'll do Cricklewood it. Broadway. No, next to Matalan. But pretend it's from the shrine. Don't joke around about this. is a tile from Al-Abbas A unique tile piece from within the courtyard, the Sahan of Abu al-Fadl al-Abbas The Kashi has the famous blue, yellow, and black coloring, and it is placed in pristine condition, even though this was placed in the shrine over 70 years ago, brothers and sisters. Okay? So we're going to start the bidding for the tile of Al-Abbas at 900 pounds. The okay. first bid needs to go up in 100. We have 1,000 pounds here. Next bid, I'm happy to go up in twos. So one, two for the next bid. Is that a hand up, sister? 1,200 in the back. 1,200 in the middle. One, four. Sayyidna, one, four. One, four. Hajina. This should be a battle. We have one, six in the back. This should be a battle. One, eight, Sayyidna. One eight. We have two in the back. The ladies, I'm trying, but no one's, everyone's ignoring me at the moment. I think they're all waiting for the last two items. One item, one item. Don't do last one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I, I can't, okay that's fine. Yeah, I can't get away from them. Okay, there's, there's a lot of people here. You can't whisper stuff to me. Right, okay. So, we had where? 1,400. 1,400. Do we have one five at the back? Shabab, one five at the back. No, brothers on the left, sisters on the right. We're on 1,400 pounds with our dear Sayyid at the front. One five, next bid, I'm happy to accept. One five? 2,000, table 31. MashaAllah, God bless table 31. 2,000 pounds bid. Sayyidna, do we have two one? Yep. We have 2,100, two back two. Back to that table, middle table. Not Middle table 2-2, two, two. just give 2, me a thumbs up. 2,500. 2,500. Say it now. 2,750. 2,750 at the front. 3,000. 3,000, table 31. 3,250. 3,250. 3,5. 3,500. 3,750. Yeah, Abu Balfad. Yeah, of course, Al Abbas, why not? 4K, brothers. 4,000, table 31. 4,000, table 31. 4,250. Any other bidders, feel free to join in. We don't have to take bids from only two tables. We're happy to take from other ones as well. 4250. 4250. No? 4,000 here. Brother, brothers and sisters watching from home, as you can see now on your television screens, there's a telephone number 
that allows you to bid right now. We have an, a dedicated team of staff who are willing to accept your calls and take your bids. You can do so live. You can give us your names. Buy this in the name of your marhumin if you would like, because actually, again, this is a donation. It's not just the tile from the Shrine of Al-Abbas that is priceless. It's also a way to generate some thawab, which money cannot buy, although today it can. Right, so 4250, do we have that or no? Table 31. Yep. 4250. 45 Hajina. Table 31. 45. 45. 4750. Yep. 5 at the back. 5000. Table 31. Yep. 5250. Yeah. Why not? 55. Five, table 31. 55. Five, table 31. 5750. Done. So it's at 55 five at the moment with table 31. Any other bidders? Uh, front bidder is out of the race. So we have. Open up for anyone at the back, TVs, calls, let us know. If not, this is going for 5,500 pounds. Fair warning to everyone, this is gonna go after three. Going once for five, five. The tile from the shrine of Abel Fadh going twice. And it's gone for 5,500 pounds. Salla ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Table 31. The brother that bought the painting, the Sadiqa Jum'a painting, has redonated it back to Imam Hussein TV to be used at the gala dinner in Canada. MashaAllah. God, God bless him. Mashallah. God bless him. Amazing. Amazing. Jazakallah khair jazam. I know everyone's getting slightly restless, so can I make a recommendation to Last the item. Imam Hussein TV staff to just get the dinner out as soon as possible and clear the tables and get Last the food one. out because I won't be offended if that happens. Say then, would you be all right if they give out dinner they're, they're at the same time on the cool, stage? It's cool, it's cool. One more That's item. fine. And so the last item is a gold block from the shrine of Imam al Hussein, alayhi salam, behind the grave. Okay, it's been beautifully framed by Imam Hussein TV. And just to tell you, so it's a gold coated block that had been placed next to the holy grave of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him, for over 70 years. Okay, so for over 70 years, before the restoration, we're going to start the bidding very low for this one to get some interest from the audience. We're going to start at a thousand pounds. Can he just yeah. hold Yeah, be it careful, so but tilt it. it a little bit forward tilt if you can. Just yeah. explain it again. It's a gold block. Yeah, it's a gold coated block. It has block. been placed next to the grave of Imam Hussein Ali Salam for over 70 years, has been given to Imam Hussein TV. So it's gold. Sometimes you'll see the blocks near the grave, they're engraved in gold. Fantastic. So we have a thousand pound at the front. One, two, fifty anywhere. Final item, this one. Final item of the night. So if you haven't managed to win anything, now's your chance. It's a piece of the shrine one, two, of 50. Imam Hussein. One, two, fifty. Thank you very much, Haji. Do we have one five, brother, at the front? Yep. One, seven, fifty, brother, in the middle. Yep. Yes. Yep. Yes. Good. Two thousand pounds. Why not? Two and a half, brother, in the middle. The, the, the jump put him off. They can't see it. Okay. MashaAllah. That is true love for Imam Hussein. He can't see Shall it. I and he bid 2,000 pounds. I love that. Take it to Waqar and ask him for 5,000. Right. Let's go, go down. On. Be careful of the wire. You can go spin on, through on, to on. Haji Abu Lujain, please. And at the moment, we're on 2K. And I said 2.5, which caught him a bit off guard. So we're going to go back to my 250s. So 2.250 two for the brother in the middle who's going to see the piece very shortly. Um, and the dinner is coming down. Please feel free to eat. Don't worry about me and say that Amar, we're not that hungry. It's fine. Tuck in um, and we'll have the leftovers. <laughs> Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. On the phone, I have 2,250. On the phone, we have 2,500 pounds. It's just been announced in my ear. On the phone. Phone bids, please come to my ear only if that's not too much trouble. No announcements from the floor for phone bids. We have 3,000 pounds from Sayyid Muhammad, mashallah. Three and a half, brother. Three and a half. We're on three and a half at the moment. We're looking for four off the telephone, or four from the Sayyid, or four from our dear brother in the middle, or four from anyone else that wants to offer 4,000 pounds. So at the moment, we're on three, five. 4,000 pounds? Yeah, why not? 4,000 pounds, mashallah. Four, five? Uh, four, Zayn, five. Zayn, go to the ladies' side. Four or five at the moment. This is a piece of the shrine of Imam al Hussein. It's the final item. The final item of the night. It's at 4,500 pounds. It's showing on the brother. screen as well now if you want to see it. Our brother's name? MashaAllah, beautiful name. Our brother Haider at the front here. 4,000 pounds. 
the viewers at home, this is the last chance you have to be able to participate in the auction and have a piece of the shrine of Imam Al Hussein in your home. It's at four thousand pounds at the moment with Brother Haidar from table twenty-four. Sayyidna, do we have four and a half? We have five thousand pounds from our Sayyid here. In the middle, if you've seen the product now, it's at five thousand pounds. Our brother in the front. Last There's item. A, there are viewers bidding as well. Mashallah, it would be amazing to end. It would be amazing to end uh, the bidding tonight and the auction uh, with a winner who's not physically at the gala. That would be amazing. So at the moment, we are on? 5,000 with Sayyid. 5,000 with Sayyid. Do we have six? Yep, we have 6,000 pounds. Six and a half, I'm happy to bring in. Sayyid now or the middle or on the phone. Our audience telephone bids are coming in through to my ear. Do we have six, five from anyone at the moment? The current bid that is in the lead is 6,000 pounds. That's a good price, Sayyid Ammar. That's a brilliant price. Amazing. As in not as it, it's not enough. As in no, it's, it's not enough, but it's still a very good price. Okay. I mean, a good price for... It's generosity. For, a good price generosity. for what it is or a good price for... Yeah, I mean, the one who's given 6,000, I know he's ready to give 10,000 for it. MashaAllah. Ya yeah, Abu Abdullah. MashaAllah. <laughs> well, I, honestly, that's amazing. So anyone, if anyone heard that, just run it up to 10. <laughs> it's on six at the moment. Do we have six and a half? Say that. Do we have six and a half? Six and a half from our brother, Haji Abu in the middle. No. Nope. Six and a half on the phones. No. Okay. Fair That's warning to enough. everyone. This is going to be gone in about 20 seconds for 6,000 pounds. Yes. Sunday. Six and a half. Seven. Seven, mashallah. Seven and a Seven half. Seven and a half. Eight. Eight. Eight and, Eight and a half. half. Nine. Nine. Ten. He was right. He ran it up to ten. MashaAllah. That is, is written by Sayyid Ammar for you to give the cause of Imam Al Hussein ten thousand pounds. Round of applause. Round of applause. Round of applause, please, brothers and sisters. MashaAllah. God bless you all. Thank you so much. I know for some of you that was quite painful to sit through because dinner's taken a while, and that's the first time either Sayyid Ammar or myself has done an auction, but it wasn't that bad, Sayyidna. Yeah, time for a career for me if this one goes downhill. <laughs> I mean, you done. You didn't do much, to be fair. So, <laughs> if your future career means standing next to me when I'm doing an auction, you're gonna make it. Legend. Zin, so, ten thousand pounds. I think Sayyidna. Um, I'm gonna take my leave at the moment, um, and if you can, we'll end up with maybe a few a few conversations. As the was saying, maybe you know some people that might be able to fundraise who didn't weren't lucky like enough. I, I don't know if I'm gonna have conversations with people while they're eating. Right. I don't know if they want a small break. Okay. Me, or me coming up to them and talking to them. Yeah, right let's, do, let's do a personal. Do I have like a wireless or no? Yeah, we can get you a wireless. Yes, yeah. we have a wireless. Yeah, we can get I you a wireless. I'm going okay. to get Hajju Mustafa Mas'ud to help me. Right. Okay. So I'll take uh, my cue and leave. Thank you very much. And yeah. for that auction, the amazing stay, effort. You stay as well. On the no, stay, 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 stay with us. Oh, okay. Let me we've got a few out. videos while people eat and then we'll do that. Okay, okay, let's do that. Okay, so we're going to take a little interlude. Uh, enjoy dinner and get ready for Sayyid Ammar to attack you for some donations. Um, otherwise, thank you very much for all your bidding. Jazakum Allah khair jaza. And we'll leave you with dinner and a salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Even before Islam, the women of the Abrahamic line would cover themselves with a veil and would act with respect and honour. When eating, especially, no one would come, come <laughs> next to, 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 to me. <laughs> The hijab, the hijab has been, has been worn in practice for centuries. centuries. Even, Even before, before Islam, Islam, the women, the women of, the of the Abrahamic line, line would cover themselves with a veil and would act with respect, respect and, and honour. When, when eating, especially, not one, not one would, would come next to, 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 to me. Oh, oh, oh. They, they, maybe they, they, they would be affected or something, something like that. that.
in your body, young people are smoking, smoking weed because, because, it's, because it's I'm, I'm glorified, glorified in music, music in, in art, in culture, in culture and, in and in popular, popular culture. culture. Small procession, and it, and it came, came out, you know, hundreds, hundreds of people, thousands of people that were coming. You and you had lines, lines of people who were also watching this procession. Captain 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 to look, to look after, after those attending, attending our, our programs, programs participating, participating in our, in our ceremonial, ceremonial activity. The, the fact, fact that, that the scholars for hundreds, hundreds of years, years have recited, recited it, having, having courage, courage this recitation, is a, is a major, major indication, indication of, of its, its recommendation. It is, it is made clear, clear to us that, that there is a duty, duty for us when it comes, comes to our imam. imam. Let us, Let us not forget the famous, the famous narration mentioned by, by the Holy Prophet, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Whoever dies and does, and does not know, the imam, the imam of his time has died, has died a death of ignorance. ignorance. In a, In a great, great saying by, by Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, to Kumail ibn Ziyad, he tells him, O oh, Kumail, a believer, a mu'min is someone who follows our words. At the age of just 18, when she was martyred, she remains to be one of the brightest lights of guidance to mankind until this day. For their light does not turn off when their soul is taken to the heavens for them to live in eternity with the bounties of Allah Azza wa Jal. Join me this holy month of Ramadan on my journey to the grave. The grave. You mentioned that it's the unknown realm. At death, I was more thinking to myself that, you know what, Allah SWT, you reminded me so many times, and yet maybe I haven't taken on board these reminders. <laughs> of something that you do not know. I'm concerned with the fact that I cannot then change something and I cannot correct it once it's over, once it's over. Just you not knowing what's behind that door, you might not be willing to open that door. Death is all around us, especially in this last two years with coronavirus and we've all lost loved ones. Mir al-Mu'mineen Salaam Allahi Alayhi Nahji Malala talks about the pain in Sakharatul Mawd. He describes it like scissors that cuts flesh. There's not a human being on this earth who doesn't fear death at one stage of their life or another. Look at this world as if you're going to go at any second, any second. Exclusively on Imam Hussein TV 3. Karbala, once a barren land, a land once uninhabited, yet today millions assemble and congregate in it. But why? A holy trail left from Medina and mark the journey of ablation, submission and sacrifice. The focal point of hearts set a journey towards this land. Imam Hussein TV is excited and honored to be inviting you to an opportunity like no other. For many of you who have visited Karbala, you would have seen the building works around the front of Imam Hussein's shrine. The Haram is now expanding and currently Tel Zainabiyah Sanctorium is being recreated. With the new plans and developments, Imam Hussein Media Group is relocating to the Dar as Sajjad building on Qibla Street. 
one of the main roads that leads to the front of the holy shrines of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Our building will only be 150 meters away from the holy shrine of Aba Abdullah. This new building is to be the new headquarters for the Imam Hussein Media Group, taking up 200 square meters. The purchase of just the land alone in 2012 was a total of over 2.2 million US dollars. The 11-story building overlooks the holy sites of the sacred tents of Imam al Hussein, Bain al Haramain, and the two holy domes of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl al Abbas. The building will consist of 11 floors and a basement. The basement will be dedicated to serving the blessed pilgrims visiting the holy city of Karbala and will hold an equipment storage and repair facility. The ground floor of the building will hold a Husseiniya, which will be open all year round to hold majalis and celebrations. The first floor will have a built-in amphitheater seating 200 people. It will be used to premiere certain shows and documentaries as well as hosting international conferences and seminars. The second floor will hold an equipment storage and repair facility. The third floor will host our Farsi channel, Imam Hussein TV One. The channel requires office space, meeting rooms, as well as editorial suites to create new material for your viewing. The fourth floor will host our Arabic channel, Imam Hussein TV Two. The fifth floor will host our English channel and our Urdu channel. This is where all post-production will happen. The sixth floor will host our Azimi channel, Az Zahra TV, and our news channel, Shia Waves News. The channels require office space, meeting rooms, as well as editorial suites to help plan, create, and manage different stages of production to bring you the latest news affecting the Shia community globally. The seventh and eighth floors will be split into two parts. The majority of both floors will be home to the Al Mukhayyam Studios. This space will hold two visual studios overlooking the holy shrines and will be used to have live broadcasts and pre recorded filming sets. A small section of the double floored studio will be the control room, which is where the technicians record, mix, edit, and televise live broadcasting. The ninth and tenth floors will also be split into two parts. The majority of these floors will be home to the Bab Al Qibla Studios. This large size studio will include window backdrops showing the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and Abu Fadl Al Abbas. This will be used by all channels when holding ziyara and special programs to celebrate or commemorate the Ahlul Bayt. A small section of the double floored studio will be the control room, which will also be used for technicians to record, mix, edit, and televise live broadcasting. Here's where you can help. Many of us make investments for the future to see a return. Our hereafter is our real future. And here is an investment opportunity like no other. It's costing Imam Hussein Media Group $700 per square meter to construct and decorate the building. The $700 will account for cement to bricks, from iron beams to cabling, and even plastering, painting, and tiling. You can donate to our project and receive blessings and rewards with every single second any production is being created in this building. Whether we are script writing, filming, editing or broadcasting a live show on the day of Arba'een, your donation will raise blessings and rewards for the hereafter. But I'm sure you're asking yourselves, why do we need such a building? Since its inception, Imam Hussein Media Group has grown to a multilingual and internationally recognized station. Our sole duty is to provide an interactive platform to teach people the message of the Ahlul Bayt. The new building will give each channel their own space and equipment to work effectively and efficiently. With more space, each department will have ample time and freedom to be able to create more interesting and valuable content to bring you all closer to the Ahlul Bayt. In today's world, falsehood is abundant. And through Imam Hussein TV, we have the ability to show people the truth. It was once the wealth of Sayyidah Khadija that pushed forward the message of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And today, we ask you 
to help us push the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. All that is required is just over $900,000 to finalize the total project. And with so many lovers of Imam Hussein, and with so many contributions from these lovers, we are sure we can reach our goal. Invest in the future of your community. Invest in your afterlife and invest in the legacy of your Imam. Imam Hussein TV, your gateway to Karbala. Two hundred fifty Shia worshippers were martyred and wounded in the suicide attack targeting the Shia Kachu Rasaldar Mosque in the city of Peshawar, northwest Pakistan, on Friday. A spokesman for the Lady Reading Hospital in Peshawar, Muhammad Asim Khan, said that the attack has so far resulted in the death of 56 people and the injury of 194 others, including 50 in critical condition. Manabe Mahali dar Ostan Qura Afghanistan fash kardand, Sunni hai ton roi Taliban, ba wujud jinayat hai mukhtalif az jinayat hai islam dar shi'i fi madinat Peshawar, shamali gharbi Pakistan, amsi jumu'a, ila 250 shahidan wa jarihan. Attackers in southwestern Pakistan have killed at least 11 workers at a remote coal mine. The victims were from the minority Shia Hazara community. Thirty-two civilians were killed and others were wounded in twin explosions targeting one of the main streets in the capital Baghdad. They were carried out by two suicide bombers targeting, as usual, a civilian gathering of people Saudi authorities executed 81 people on charges related to terrorist acts according to the Saudi press agency. Saudi sources confirmed that the executions included 41 Shia men the from European the Shia Parliament Kutipu sent a letter to the European Union in which they expressed their concern about the deteriorating human rights situation in Bahrain. In their letter, 60 members of the European Parliament expressed their deep concern. So what does Imam Hussein TV mean to me? Um, it's a hard one. I, I'll be totally honest with you, Imam Hussein. Imam Hussein TV is my life. It's been part of my journey to develop myself, to improve my learning and understanding of many subjects that I never knew before. And also, as a parent, uh, it has helped me bring up my kids, bring them up in a, in a way where uh, they can in the future become servants of the Holy Prophet. Imam Hussein TV is a reminder of religion and Imam Hussein and how I should be a better person even though it doesn't come naturally. They really help me connect with Allah, they really help me connect with my religion, understand religion. Shows like Akam Masuas as I'm helping film, help set up. It just inspired me to learn about Islam, to encourage me to follow my deen and to spread it. I go to university. I spread that message throughout there. I try and share that message that I learned here. The biggest blessing of my life um, was being able to serve and work at the same time. So Imam Hussein TV to me is like a home away from home. Uh, over here when I come in, even though everyone has their own opinion of Imam Hussein TV, as a staff member it's different. And for, for me, it's, um, they were, it's like a sense of family. Um, it's hard work, struggles. But at the same time, there's a lot of creativity, there's passion. And when I received that one email from that one viewer saying thank you Imam Hussein TV for providing me with live feed from Karbala, um, thank you for giving me Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam in my home, that's, 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 what, that's what makes my job so precious to me. There's a movement and a campaign for us to provide uh, a better service for those people in the West to have the message of the Ahlul Bayt uh, in English and also to bring Imam Hussein uh, to the masses and to the world. I have to ask myself every day, every month, Murtada, what are you going to do 
what are you going to show on the channel in the following months to benefit the views of Muhammad Hussein alayhi salam? Myself, I may be in the UK, I may have um, 20, 30 odd Husseiniyat masajid to go to and learn during these occasions. But working at the channel, you need to think of those viewers who, 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 do, not, who do not have any Husseiniyat, who do not have any books in their city or in their country. It should be a duty upon every Shia person in this world to, to give back to Imam al Hussein alayhi salam. The hijab has been worn in practice for centuries. Even before Islam, the women of the Abrahamic line would cover themselves with a veil and would act with respect and honor. When eating, especially, no one would come next to sit with me or think maybe they would be attracted to something like that. Many of our young people are smoking weed because it's um, glorified in music, in art, in culture and in popular culture. Small procession and it became loud, you know, hundreds of people, thousands of people there were coming. And you had lines of people who were also watching this procession. Look in Captain Kitab al Ishad in the book, Imam Hussein did not say, move to my sheep. He said, I come as Imam Hussein. <laughs> like everybody. As the religious authority in Iraq and the local governments in Iraq have advised, we will take extra precautions to look after those attending our programs and participating in our ceremonial activities. The fact that the scholars for hundreds of years have recited it, have encouraged this recitation, is a major indication of its recommendation. It is made clear to us that there is a duty for us when it comes to our Imam. Let us not forget the famous narration mentioned by the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Whoever dies and does not know, the Imam of his time has died a death of ignorance. In a great saying by Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam, to Kumayn ibn Ziyad, he tells him, O oh, Kumayn, a believer, a mu'min is someone who follows our words. At the age of just 18, when she was martyred, she remains to be one of the brightest lights of guidance to mankind until this day. For their light does not turn off when their soul is taken to the heavens for them to live in eternity with the bounties of Allah Azza wa Jal. Join me this holy month of Ramadan on my journey to the grave. At death, I was more thinking to myself, and you know what, Allah SWT has reminded me so many times, and yet maybe I haven't taken on board these reminders. When you walk in through these graves, the most important reminder is, am I ready? What's going to happen to me? Usually you are scared of something that you do not know. I'm concerned with the fact that I cannot then change something and I cannot correct it once it's over, once it's over, once it's over. Just you not knowing what's behind that door, you might not be willing to open that door. Death 
is all around us, especially in this last two years with the coronavirus and we've all lost love on us. Amir al Mu'mineen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam talks about the pain of Sakaratul Maut. He describes it like scissors that cuts flesh. There's not a human being on this earth who doesn't fear death at one stage of their life or another. Look at this world as if you're going to go at any second. Any second. Exclusively on Imam Hussein TV3. Karbala, once a barren land, a land once uninhabited. Yet today, millions assemble and congregate in it. But why? A holy trail left from Medina and mark the journey of ablation, submission, and sacrifice. The focal point of hearts set a journey towards this land. Imam Hussein TV is excited and honored to be inviting you to an opportunity like no other. For many of you who have visited Karbala, you would have seen the building works around the front of Imam Hussein's shrine. The Haram is now expanding and currently Tel Zainabiyah Sanctorium is being recreated. With the new plans and developments, Imam Hussein Media Group is relocating to the Dar al Sajjad building on Qibla Street, one of the main roads that leads to the front of the holy shrines of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Our building will only be 150 meters away from the holy shrine of Aba $2.2 million US dollars. The 11 story building overlooks the holy site of the sacred tents of Imam Hussein, Bayn al Haramain, and the two holy domes of Imam Hussein and his brother Abu Fadl al Abbas. The building will consist of 11 floors and a basement. The basement will be dedicated to serving the blessed pilgrims visiting the holy city of Karbala and will hold an equipment storage and repair facility. The ground floor the building will hold the Husseini to be open all year round to hold majalis and celebrations. The first floor will have a built-in amphitheater seating 200 people. It will be used to premiere certain shows and documentaries as well as hosting international conferences and seminars. The second floor will hold an equipment storage and repair facility. The third floor will host our privacy channel, Imam Hussein TV1. The channel requires office space, meeting rooms, as well as editorial suites to create new material for your view. The fourth floor will host our Arabic channel, Imam Hussein TV2. The fifth floor will host our English channel and our Urdu channel. This is where all post production will happen. The sixth floor will host our Azubi channel, Azama TV, and our news channel, Kia Ways News. The channels will play office space, meeting rooms, as well as editorial space to help plan, create, and manage different stages of production to bring you the latest news affecting the Shia community globally. The seventh and eighth floors will be split into two parts. The majority of both floors will be home to the Al Mukhayyim studio. This space will hold two video studios overlooking the Holy Shrines and will be used to have live broadcasts and pre recorded film A small section of the double floor studio will be the control room, which is where the technicians record, mix, edit, and televise live broadcasts. The ninth and tenth floors will also be split into two parts. The majority of these floors will be home to the Bab and Qibla studios. This large size studio will include window backdrops showing the holy shrines of Imam Hussein and Abu Fadl al Abbas. This will be used by all channels when holding ziyara and special programs to celebrate or commemorate the Ahlul Bayt. A small section of the double floor studio will be the control room, which will also be used for technicians to record, mix, edit, and televise live broadcasts.
here's where you can help. Many of us make investments for the future to see a return. Our hereafter is our real future. And here is an investment opportunity like no other. It's costing Imam Hussein Media Group $700 per square meter to construct and decorate the building. The $700 will account for cement to bricks, from iron beams to cabling, and even plastering, painting, and tile. You can donate to our project and receive blessings and rewards with every single second any production is being created in this building. Whether we are script writing, filming, editing, or broadcasting a live show on the day of Arba'in, your donation will raise blessings and rewards for the hereafter. But I'm sure you're asking yourselves, why do we need such a building? Since its inception, Imam Hussein Media Group has grown to a multilingual and internationally recognized station. Our sole duty is to provide an interactive platform to teach people the message of the Ahlul Bayt. The new building will give each channel their own space and equipment to work effectively and efficiently. With more space, each department will have ample time and freedom to be able to create more interesting and valuable content to bring you all closer to the Ahlul Bayt. In today's world, falsehood is abundant. And through Imam Hussein TV, we have the ability to show people the truth. It was once the wealth of Sayyidah Khadija that pushed forward the message of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. And today, we ask you to help us push the message of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. All that is required is just over $900,000 to finalize the total project. And with so many lovers of Imam Hussein, and with so many contributions from these lovers, we are sure we can reach our goal. Invest in the future of your community. Invest in your afterlife. And invest in the legacy of your Imam. Imam Hussein TV, your gateway to Karbala. تدري الخيمة والماك زي الكربلاء الجاي عندها الهلم زوي عاي أو الكربلاء زين بالسماء لا الخط الفرحة مرسال Thought of 50 shell worshippers were marked and wounded in the suicide attack targeting the Shia Kashmir for Saldar Mosque from the city of Peshawar on West Pakistan on Friday. The spokesman for the Lady of Reading Hospital in Peshawar, Muhammad Hassan Khan, said that the attack has so far resulted in the death of 56 people and the injury of 194 others. Attackers in southwestern Pakistan have killed at least 11 workers at a remote coal mine. The victims were from the minority Shia Hazara community. Authorities executed 81 people on charges related to terrorist acts, according to the Saudi press agency. Saudi sources confirmed that the executions included 41 Shia men from the Shia army. Saudi press expressed their concern about the deteriorating human rights
Mountain TV is a reminder of the legend and the sacred power be a better person. TV to me is like a home Brothers and sisters, please feel free to keep eating. Don't stop eating on my account. We're going to crack on because we don't want everyone leaving too late. So inshallah, we will continue with the program. Our brothers and sisters at home watching on Imam Hussein TV 3 Live. Brothers and sisters in the audience, I hope you're enjoying your dinner. Just to let you know, there will be dessert coming as well later. And inshallah, we'll have the raffles as well. Uh, there are some great prizes in the raffles. There are about 15 prizes. Um, and I've been given about five minutes to announce the winners of the 15 prizes. So we're going to rattle through all the winners very shortly. Can we get some brothers and sisters who are selling tickets? I've had a brother in the front request some tickets. Say, Hassan, if you can please sort out somebody. Yasser, come to the front, bring your ticket machine, let people know what the prizes are. There are some amazing prizes as well. Um, the hijab has been worn in practice for centuries. Even before Islam, so, the women of the Abrahamic Our next segment um, is a first for Imam Hussein TV gala dinners. Imam Ali alayhi salam is narrated to have said, devote yourself to working for the welfare of the believers and the pious ones. So we're going to be taking the time now to recognize those who are serving the community. We've called the awards the Pillars of the Community Awards. It gives me great joy to invite a close friend of mine who is establishing himself as a pillar of the community, my dear brother Al Haj Mustafa Ali Masoud. So please, if you can welcome him with a loud and warm in between your bites of meal, salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله على ما أنعم وله الشكر على ما ألهم والثناء بما قدم والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الخلق سيدنا وحبيب قلوبنا أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين لا سيما سيدي ومولاي صاحب العصر والزمان عجل الله تعالى فرجه الشريف واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم أجمعين من الآن إلى قيام يوم الدين My dear elders, scholars, respected sisters, brothers السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Inshallah we will now be handing out the awards the pillars 
of our community, inshallah. I've got, inshallah, 10 awards to those community members that have strived to either bring the message of Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam to us, that have strived to serve the community. And inshallah, as you're eating, inshallah, there'll be short videos about these pillars of the community. So if I can ask for your attention, please, to listen, inshallah, to these videos being played and show recognition to those that have served the community. Can I firstly ask director of Imam Hussein TV, Al Haj Qasim Fahad, to come up to the stage to present the awards? Haj Qasim, please, can I ask you to come to the stage? Sayyid Murtad Al Husseini, could you see where Haj Qasim is? Yes, Haj Qasim, thank you. We welcome the director of Imam Hussein TV, Al Haj Qasim Fahad, with the recitation of a loud salat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Can I also ask the brothers that are standing in the way of the projector if they can kindly? Ahsantum, thank you very much. Our awards, inshallah, even though Haji Haidar mentioned these people have served and are serving our community, the first award is for one of our marhumin. Can we have the first award of the pillars of the community? Akil Hassan uh, uh, was a dedicated uh, member of the community and uh, for Akil Hassan uh, uh, was a dedicated, dedicated uh, member, member of the, of the Akil, Akil Hassan, Hassan uh, uh, was, was a dedicated uh, member, member of the community, of the community. and, and uh, from our point, point of view, obviously, obviously a loving uh, son, son devoted, devoted husband. husband. He was my husband, obviously, but also my best friend. friend. Um, he, was he was just a wonderful, a wonderful person, person, extremely, extremely patient, patient, very, very generous, generous with his time, time very, very kind with his words, words um, and just very, very caring, caring of his friends, friends and family, um, and, and, and an extremely, extremely committed uh, Shia Muslim, Muslim as well, and, and that was always lovely to see. He was, he was mainly, mainly interested in law, and particularly in human rights. rights. Uh, so, he so he qualified uh, in King's College for a bachelor's, bachelor's uh, degree. degree. And, then and then he did his bar exam in the UK, UK qualified as a solicitor. So he initially practiced as a solicitor, then his main aim was to practice as a barrister, which he did. You know, there's, you know, there's a lot of sectors out there that are very, very untapped for Muslims. You don't see many practicing in law, you don't see a huge amount in politics and that's where you know, you know, we can really have an impact and serve both our community and at the same time you know, have a positive impact on, on the broader community and the country and the society that we live in. When you are uh, devoted to the service of everybody, then, then uh, there is no self-motive self available. available. So, so when you, when you are available, everybody, everybody, everybody benefits. benefits. So, so that, that is his line, line of thinking, thinking always, always, whether it was to morning, morning or weekend, or weekend to, talk to talk to him, to him the conversations, the conversations always touch on how, how we can, we can help uh, uh, others and community. community. You know, realizing that, that uh, 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 experience that pain, pain. Um, you know, you know millionfold. It, 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 it does, does help, help a little bit, little bit on, on, your on your own journey. My message to you is that he is, 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 is remembered and, and he is alive. alive. So you see, he's, he's with us. us. Yeah. In fact, uh, we've got hadiths that say that Shaheed never dies. So they are alive, so alhamdulillah. Our first award is for Marhum Aqil Noor Ali. Can I ask you to recite Surah Al-Fatiha for his blessed soul and here to present or accept his award on his, is his father Al-Hajj Ali Reza Noor Ali. We welcome him with a loud salat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad.
الثانية على حب الحسن والحسين الثالث على حب الزهراء بأعلى أصواتكم Of course, Al-Marhum Aqil Noor Ali is from the Haidari community, was from the Haidari community. And I went to school with Marhum Aqil. He was a great person. And of course, inshallah, we can continue this legacy and Imam Hussein TV will have an award named after him, inshallah, every year. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to everybody. Uh, the word is accepted with uh, humbleness. And it is not a single e person's effort. Uh, Akilu was a member of a team, Haidari team, and uh, that credit goes to the committee. Ahsan. The second award for the pillars of the community goes to Ana Radi Abbas al Karbalai, Men Ulati Fi Karbala al Mukaddasa, Maa Tarahat Sayyid al Marja, Sayyidullah al Umma, Sayyid Muhammad al Shirazi, Rodmanullah Hitala Ali, Wali Al Sani, Ila Biritania, Ila London. فإن شاء الله إحنا نمشي على خطوة خطاء الإمام الحسين عليه السلام حتى هاي الشعائر الدينية هو الإمام عليه السلام مو بس قضية لطم وبكي وعز زنجيل أو تكبير لا أكبر من هذا أكثر من هذا شعائر كلش للدين الحقيقة إحنا لما كنا بالحسينية وعدنا حسينية مو بس يكون برنامجنا باللغة العربية وإنما باللغة الفارسية عندنا باللغة الأردو عندنا باللغة الإنجليزية عندنا عدة برامج لشبابنا ولكبارنا حتى نقدم هاي الخدمة الدينية يستلذون بالدين أكثر لما يشوفون أكو قضايا دينية تخدمهم ونقوي إيمانهم بالدين مع النصائح رجال الدين اللي يرتقون المنبر مع الرواديد اللي يقدمون الشعائر الحسينية فكل الشعائر إحنا الحمد لله في لندن طبقناها فما أقدر أنا أقول أي مصيبة هي تكون صعبة من أصعب المصائب لا هي كربلاء وعاشوراء هي أصعب مصيبة بالدين الإسلامي اللي صارت إذا ما كانت هذه المصيبة وما كان الإمام الحسين عليه السلام أن يفدي بهذا اللي عنده غالي ورخيص كله يفدي به ما أنا ما أصور كان اليوم للإسلام اسم the second award goes to Al Haj Radi Al Karbalai. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. أحسنتم جزاكم الله خير أشكر شكر الجزيل لقناة الإمام الحسين عليه السلام والأخوة القائمين خلف الستار وعلى الخصوص الأخ الحج قاسم فهد جزاه الله خير اللي هو لم الشباب دار مدارة وأسس هذا القناة في اللغة الإنجليزية في لندن وأشكركم وأشكرهم جزاكم الله خير موفقين لكل خير the third award for the pillars of the community goes to احنا كمجموعة شباب اللي هي تضم انتفاضة صفر الكبرى كنا كان تحركنا من 75 وانا بفضل الله الله سبحانه وتعالى جعل بين هاي الشباب كمحور كنت في هذه الانتفاضة المباركة مثلا أصدر المنع على كل المواكب قالوا متى تخرج المواكب 
فانا, فأنا صدمت, صدمت بيان بخط ايدي الجملة من البيان أتذكر يا شباب النجف الكرام تهيئوا لزيارة قبر أبي عبد الله الحسين مشيا على الأقدام وأول ظاهر أول ظاهر تحدي وتصدي في العراق كانت هي هاي الأطفال المباركة يعني ما كان يجرى شخص وأنا أقولها وللتاريخ يقف أمام هذا النظام وشراسة النظام إلا هؤلاء الأبطال الحسينيين يعني, يعني أنا أذكر بين, بين مجموعة استشهدوا أنا, أنا جاي بالقرآن قلت لهم اقسموا على الموت في طريق الحسين أقول ربينا من الزغر وحنا نشرب من حليب الأم نحس في حب أبو اليمة ونحس مسراه ويا الدم بشهر عاشور نشوف الأم يزيد بشاهة ويا الهم تنعوي القصيدة تقوم وتشيل التربة بيها احنا تربينا تغذينا بحب الحسين احنا واطفال في المجالس يسالوني ليش حسين مو كافي عوفه والله اسجد دوم عالتربه اشوفه خلاني حب حسين مجنون ثاني عابس الاول جان من بعدها وطلبي الوحيد هو حياتنا حسين ومماتنا حسين Our third award goes to الحاج أبو يسرى البلاغي Just to give a context to this award Many of you I know, some of you have even joined me for the Arba'een walk from Najaf to Karbala. During the time of Saddam, during the Ba'athist regime, this walk was banned. The last walk to ever take place publicly was led by this man, Al-Hajj Abu Yusra Al-Balaghi. Today, the Arba'een, the walk that takes place from Najaf towards Karbala is because of the sacrifices of this man, and the sacrifices of many of those youth who walked and stood up to Saddam and said the commemorations of Arba'in will continue. Al-Hajj Abu Yusra Al-Balaghi. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Awalan ashkar قناة الإمام الحسين على هذا التكريم وأشكر الكوادر جميعا أسأل من الله أن يوفقهم في هذا المسار العظيم هي خدمة الإمام الحسين شيء واحد إلى التاريخ أذكره بهذا المجمع اللي من مختلف الجنسيات هو أن الإمام الحسين مجيئنا إلى لدن أول مجلس جماهيري في جامع رجل موسك جامع السنة ووفقنا الله سنتين هذا الجامع بالوقت الذي لم يوجد أي مجلس في بريطانيا أو في أوروبا حتى وصلنا وبفضل الله إلى مسيرة عاشوراء في الأوكسفورد ستريت خمسة سنوات في الكوفيد في الكورونا الكل أغلقت مجالسهم إلا المجلس الحسيني هذا المجلس المبارك انعقد لمدة عشرة أيام في السنة الأولى وفي السنة الثانية حتى وصلنا وتجاوز الكاميرات الرقمية حصلناها من البوليس تجاوزنا المئة وخمسين ألف إنسان شارك في مسيرة عاشوراء وهذا المجلس المبارك أسأل من الله أن الكل من الجنسيات لنا وقفة في السنة القادمة وقفة تاريخية أن نجعل يوم الحسين العالمي 
في بريطانيا وفي دول الكومن وورلد ان يقرر يوم واحد الى العظيم الذبيح الامام الحسين عليه السلام واختم بظاهره ظاهره اللي وفقنا الله حول كسوة الكعبة كسوة الكعبة لماذا السوداء فعلينا الكل نعلم لماذا لونها السوداء فبحثت في التاريخ عدة روايات ورأيت أن كسوة الكعبة على عهد رسول الله كانت بالشادر الأبيض باللون الأبيض وجاءت الدولة الأموية القتلة أبدلت اللون الأبيض إلى الديباج القبطي باللون الأخضر وجاءت الدولة العباسية ورفعت شعار يا لثارات الحسين وألبسوا الكعبة سوادا حزنا على الحسين ولهذا اليوم الكعبة حزينة على سيد الشهداء وأختم أسأل من الله في جدال مع شخص من علماء السنة جادلني إلى متى الشيعة وظهور الشيعة فقلت له الشيعة سوف تحكم العالم قال كيف لأن أريد أضبط مناسبة الإمام المهدي مع الإمام الحسين فقلت له أجاوب بالجواب المنطقي والعقلي كيف أن الشيعة تحكم العالم قلت الكل يوم بالأديان والمذاهب في مخلص اسمه الإمام المهدي الإمام المهدي يظهر بين الركن والمقام وشعاره يا لثارات الحسين وينزل السيد المسيح وما قتلوه وما صلبوه ولكن شبه لهم ينزل ويصلي خلف الإمام المهدي لماذا عيسى عليه السلام؟ لأن عيسى يحيي الموتى يحيي الموتى ويأتي إلى بريطانيا فيأتي إلى الجد العاشر إلى جد من جد الملكة فيقول لقبره قم يا جد العاشر للملكة فعندما يظهر ويأمره السيد المسيح أن هذا هو إمامكم المهدي ليملأ الأرض قصا وعدلا بعدما ملئ ظلما وجوها وأحب شعار بالختام أحب شعار للإمام المهدي هو لبيك يا حسين لبيك يا حسين لبيك يا حسين والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I was asked to translate. I'll try and my best. Uh, the first thing that Al Haj mentioned was that they were the first group to establish Al Majlis for Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. And this Majlis was held two years in Regent's Park, Regent's Park Mosque for two years. A Majlis for Imam Al Hussein in that mosque. Also, Al Haji mentioned something very interesting that today the Kaaba is covered with black. During the time of Rasulullah, it had a white cloth. During the time of the Umayyads, it had a green cloth on top of it. And then during the time of the Abbasids, out of mourning for Imam al Hussein, it had the black cloth on the Kaaba. So the Kaaba is mourning Aba Abdullah al Hussein, alayhi afdal al salati wa salam. And finally, that the awaited Savior, when he returns, his call will be to avenge for the blood of Aba Abdullah al Hussein. Ahsantum Haji. Fourth award, inshallah, for the pillars of the community goes to I was, I was born, born in, in India, India in the, in the days, days of British Raj, Raj 1940. 1940. Then, I then I came here, here in 1966, 1966. I, and uh, I did a here as well. From the university. university. My, my religious, religious background, background is, is based basically, basically on my father. father. Wherever, wherever my, my father will go, will go we go with him. I, I, I always believe, believe that Arbain is the only 
procession. All, All others, others were added, added afterwards. afterwards. But the, but the real, real procession is our main procession. procession. The only, the only procession, procession, I think, I may be I may wrong, wrong. The, the, that, that was, was led by, by an, an imam. imam. Imam Zainab al Abdin, alayhi salatu wasalam, and Imam Muhammad Bakr. And one, one thing, thing I made, made sure, sure. I, will I will not, not go, go to anybody and say, say give me some money. I want for the Arbaim. The first, the first thing, thing I do when I, when I meet the, the volunteers, the, every, every year, year I do it. it. I, tell I tell them, this, this position does not, does not belong, belong to me, me. It does, it not, does belong not belong to you. The ownership of this is with Imam Zamana. What I believe, uh, Shias are alive because of the procession. Whether it's an 8th of Muharram or 9th of Muharram or 10th of Muharram or Arbain, all this procession that has gone without break for centuries and centuries. So I think it is very important that what we do, we keep it doing it in peace. Alaikum. Uh, in the last 10 years, I've been given awards. This is probably sixth or seventh. And I haven't learned why. I haven't done thing, I haven't done anything extraordinary. Nothing. But one principle I stood from the day one. That Arabian procession does not belong to me does not belong to the workers, it belongs to Imam Azamana. Yeah, this is what I always believe. And just believe me because I can't, I don't have time and you won't like it, it'll take too much. Whenever I have problem with our main procession, I do what I can. And then I go in a corner and I say, Mawla, I've done the best I could. I need these things I don't have. And within 24 hours, somebody will do it. This happened not once, many, many times. I have a, no resources almost. So when I can't do something, I just tell Maula, I have done the best I can. And that's it. The other thing that I did, I kept the politics out of it. Anybody bringing in politics, I should go away. This is not the place. Find some other place. So all my life, I've been, I have one aim, that this procession of Arbain, of Imam Hussain al-Islam, should be there all the time. Everything I do, is towards that. That's all I think. And if there's anything comes against it, I have a very sharp line. Any because of that line, he knows what will happen. I'm not a very soft man. I'm very soft otherwise. But when it, You cross the line and you'll face it and I'll be there. It, it happened once or twice and I hope it will never happen again. Please pray for me. Pray for the Arbaim And I'm thankful to all those 
who for some reason, I don't know why, voted me or nominated me or I don't know how it is done for this award. Thank you very much. The next award for the pillars of the community goes to I am Maha Rida. I was born in Al Najaf Al Ashraf in Iraq. I am married with four children. I studied there for uh, a short period of time, as a, and then I worked as a teacher in Najaf. Then, before moving to the UK, my father was the main influencer in my life. He was my, a father. He was a trainer. He was a provider, and he was a best friend. I come from a family who were devoted to serving Ahl al-Bayt I represent the Al-Khoi Foundation as the Chief Administrative Officer for Al-Khoi Foundation and Ahl al-Bayt Foundation as well. So I do all the work, uh, the logistic, registration, whatever, submitting Quadonium report every four years. So I do all this uh, work for, with, the, with the UN. So, uh, I started going to the UN, this was in 1987, where we were working at that time on, on violence against women, on raising awareness about uh, women's rights, Muslim women's rights, what Islam is providing, what Islam is giving to women. So we always we were working with the UN or uh, with other NGOs to raise awareness about which rights has Islam given to women. So all the time we were trying to raise awareness about our faith as a Shia and as a Muslim in, in, in a whole, how, what, what Islam given to women, which women didn't get from the you know, Western societies. I would like to thank you for recognizing my achievement. I would like to thank you very much that you are doing this work for Ahl al-Bayt and for whoever is doing whatever they can. And I ask Imam Zamana to support you and give you the strength to do more. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging, acknowledging the work of a woman. Thank you very much for organizing this event. And uh, may Allah uh, give you the strength to continue on this work. Inshallah, Imam Zamana will be looking at wor your work. Whoever working on the stage, behind the scene, to um, do all the works for Imam Hussein TV. Thank you very much again. Our next award for the Pillars of the Community goes to... My name is Mukhtar Karim. I was born in Mombasa in uh, Kenya, uh, and that's where I uh, grew up. I am fortunate to have been married the same year that the Lady Fatima Trust was born, and uh, 25 years on, the father of uh, three wonderful children. Charity work was always in my father's DNA. There was always a spark about him where he could not see suffering um, around him. But the three clear objectives that my father had was the, the time that you encounter a person in need should be the only time you encounter them. So that one opportunity that you have to lift them out of poverty should be utilized in the manner that you're working towards redundancy for the charity. At the Lady Fatima Trust, we always try and look what is the core need of this community? The narrative of Imam Hussein salam, reminded to us at least two months in the year. His journey uh, from Medina uh, to Karbala and the constant yearning to just seek reform in the community 
of his grandfather is a message that cannot just sit in the Majalises and the Husseiniyas. Living that faith is what those two months in the year energize us to do. Beyond the lamenting of what happened then, it is to identify and see if Imam Hussein Salam were amongst us today, what would his Yazid be? What would his Karbala be? What would his Harmala be? Who would his Shimmer be? They are around in our society acting in a metaphorical fashion even today. So that mission is one that he accomplished. What is my mission? What is my Karbala? And where am I serving the cause of Imam Hussein alayhi salam in the fortunate name of his mother to take forward, to address the injustices, to create the reform uh, in the society that he led. So the only thing I'd ask our generation for the parents to do is be good archers. An archer allows the bow to fly once you've set its direction. The worst archer will be one that holds on to the arrow carrying it to the destination. الحاج مختار كريم I'm honestly lost for words this is truly humbling to stand before you in the service of the mother of Imam Hussein alayhi salam through the last 25 years. It's an absolute honor. And I'm grateful to the team of um, Imam Hussein TV for highlighting some of this work. It truly behoves that I start by saying, just like Imam Hussein alayhi salam was nurtured by his mother, the acceptance of this award I dedicate to my mother. And it was no coincidence <laughs> When my grandfather named her Kanize Fatima, the love of Lady Fatima was instilled in our home by our mother um, to us all. This award really goes to the service of Lady Fatima, salamu alayha, for the widowed mothers in Karbala today who stand on their own feet, stitch garments for Ataba Husseiniya, the local hospitals, the orphan schools, but also the mothers who are enabled by the patrons of the Lady Fatima Salaamu Alaiha Trust to bring water closer to those who are thirsty, to allow mothers in Eastern Africa who on average die 40 times greater mortality rate than mothers anywhere else in the world, to now be safe for them actually to feel they can go and give birth to children and not lose them to infant mortality all done in the service of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Inshallah, the pledge that we have made in the name of Sayyidah Fatima, the mother of Imam al Hussein, to serve a million mothers in these causes carries on. And it is for that that I humbly accept this award and having listed the issues before Sayyid Ammar says, how long? I'm not going to dissect these issues in greater detail. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. The next award for the pillars of the community goes to Shani uh, Marali. Uh, um, my parents are from Africa. My mom originally from Uganda. My dad from from Kenya. So my name is uh, Shafiq Kavani. Um, parents uh, originally from Uganda. Migrated in '72. And my dad was always involved at, in, in Jamaat work. What he drilled into us at a really young age is, um, if you work for the, for the sake of the community, but for the sake of pleasing God, then you will never go wrong. You know, um, it doesn't matter what people say, as long as you know your intention is clean and you try and execute with a clean intention, then you'll be successful. I always believe that uh, there has to be a platform for the, for the youths to, to grow, uh, to engage as a starting point and then from there use that as a springboard. So that, that was pretty much my first big project here in London. I then subsequently uh, became the Madrasa principal and uh, took up the responsibility of recreating, re-establishing 
uh, Istanbul Jafri's football club set up, um, you know, with, with a great team around me. We have a very successful team at Stanmore. Uh, we've been successful in the past. Um, we have a really special crop of players now, I, I believe. And I think the last two or three years, we kind of made that breakthrough where now when we go to tournaments, people are talking about us, saying, oh, like, Stanmore's coming. Okay, so there is a good team coming. Shane is, is a person who's got his vision set um, and he's very committed. What I very quickly picked up from Shafiq was how to manage different expectations of people, but how to also look at things from a step back. Always look at the bigger, bigger picture, always put the club first, uh, which I think we've always done. Um, and I think the biggest, the biggest thing I've learned from him is be patient, things will happen. Just be patient. Um, the two things I would like to highlight about, about your saying and, and how that has impacted and influenced my leadership style. And the first one is, is, is the vision, the cause and the, the mission that he had. And um, he remained firm on that. And it's easy to say, Asalaamu As Alaikum. On behalf of Stanmore Jaffries and Shane, I would like to extend our appreciation to the organizers for a fantastic event. Just two very quick points that I would like to make. Um, first of all, the power of sports in our community. We need to make sure that across our communities, we use the platform of sports to spread the, the word of our Ahl al-Bayt and what they've taught us and it's a fantastic platform to do so. Secondly, the point I want to highlight is the power of people. We are surrounded by amazing volunteers in our communities, in our organizations. And those are the ones that make sure that the community survive, the organization survive, and we are indebted to all of you. Can we have a loud salawat? Thank you very much. Um, on behalf of Stan Majafris, I'd like to thank uh, Imam Hussain TV and Dr. Sayyid Amar for giving us this award. Um, three or four weeks back, we lost the legend of the club, our very own uh, Fazal Virani. Um, as we said last week, that it's a deep sense of loss, not only for the family, but also for our sports club, and we're still trying to recover from it. Can I please request um, a Surah Fatiha for the Marhum? Thank you. Our next award is a surprise award. The poor guy doesn't know he's getting it. Can we play the video for him? My name is Wasim Sahib Mahdi from the Ahali Al-Kazmiya. My father was born in Al-Bahiyya. He completed the study of the school in Abu Ghraib. The most important job I love is the service of Imam Al-Hussain. Either in the channels or in the Al-Husseiniyat. القناة احنا احس انه كنا كعائلة واحدة وانا اعتبرهم كلهم اولادي لان انا اكبر واحد بيهم واتعامل وياهم مثل ما اتعامل ويا اولادي. Um, where do I start with Abu Amir? Um, regardless of his age, um, being in his late 60s, um, I would call him the backbone of Imam Hussein TV. When it comes to speaking about Abu Amir, I don't call him Abu Amir. I literally call him Baba. I call him Dad because that's how he treats me. Uh, I'd like to say that he is an individual who, uh, even though he's at a, uh, an older age, is very, very uh, lighthearted. He's very, very funny. He likes to have a laugh. 
Oh, Abu Amir. My, I'm here just about a week. I came from Karbala, but I find him. He was so active and he was so nice to us. Uh, Abu Amir is like a role model to the channel. You know, um, everyone looks up to him. He's the eldest figure here, and we take inspiration from what he does. I have no word to describe Abu Amir, but he's like father and friend to us. Um, and he always is happy to work under pressure and keeps up the mood high. I would like to thank Abu Amir um, for being a part of the channel. He's been a fatherly figure for all of us here at the channel. Abu Amir Habibi, you are the hidden soldier of the channel. Thank you. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طبعا أقدم جزيل الشكر إلى جميع كادر قناة الإمام الحسين وعلى رأسها الحاج قاسم فهد مدير القناة وأتمنى من كل قلبي أنه نستمر في هذا البرنامج في كل سنة إن شاء الله الله يجمعنا في هذا المكان والحمد لله رب العالمين إننا خلقنا في حب الحسين وإن شاء الله نستمر في خدمة خدام الحسين ونطلب من الله التوفيق وشكرا جزيلا <تصفيق> شكرا جزيلا and that was the awards for Imam Hussein TV. I'd like to thank Haj Qasim for presenting those awards. Thank you all for being patient with us. And inshallah, we have our reciter. What? What happened? The awards, by the way, on the on the on the. It says ten pillars of the community. I've given Haji Radi, Haji Abu Yusra, Haji Al-Qar's dad, Mukhtar, Umrana. I've given nine awards. Nine awards, but it says ten. There must be one more, right? What, what's the last one? A visionary, a trailblazer, a catalyst for change, a transformer, an enigma. But frankly speaking, no words will describe what he has done for the global community. Your endless service, dedication, and contribution to the community is truly inspirational. Personally, I've met so many converts that have told me they came to the path of Amir al-Mu'mineen, the path of Islam, because of his lectures. What many don't know is the journey's been tough. I've had like a, a first-hand view of his development, his career, um, and I can pay testament to how hard he's worked. His resilience, his perseverance, his single-minded goal and vision to deliver for the community. As a revert, alhamdulillah, I've learned so much through you. I've uh, become closer to Ahlul Bayt through you. He always practices what he preaches. Your voice has taught and mentored so many uh, across the globe. I think when people see him now and alhamdulillah the status that he's achieved at the moment in the Shia world, I don't think they realize the hard work and blood, sweat and tears that it took in his younger days. I think one of the best examples in recent times of the value of what he's delivered can be summarized during lockdown. No one, and I, and I beg to ask, no one has done as much as he has on the stage he's been able to, using the platform he has, to work this hard 
during lockdown when people were struggling with the loss of loved ones, with mental health struggles, with spirituality and feeling that void within us. He's gone and worked as hard as he possibly could, even harder to deliver multiple majalis each day. Obviously the ultimate recognition is by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This award that he's receiving today is not even enough. I think <laughs> Say the Mar Say the Mar's reward lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for sure. Say the Ammar Mundu Sigarihi Kane Musabiran Wayasa ila Talabil Elm Wal Marfa and Dama Kana Sagiran Kuntu Adun in Yu Ali Mahu Min Kalil Ma'aruf Min al Elm Aliom Anna Atalamu Min Ghazir El Mihi. ومعرفته هو إسوة وقدوة لأهله قبل مجتمعه الصغير والكبير. On behalf of Imam Hussein TV and Shia community, I want to thank Dr. Said Amwan Nakhjawani for serving أهل البيت سلام الله عليهم. For three months, oh, our final awards. It gives me privilege and honor. To give the Imam Hussein TV Lifetime Award to His Eminence Dr. Sayyid Ammar Al Nakhshawani. I'm, I'm not normally lost for words, but, um, but it's, a, it's a huge honor. Um, and you know, the best acceptance always comes from your mom. So shout out to my mom. What can I say? You know, I'm, I'm, really, I'm really honored. I, I would never have achieved success, as I said, without my mom without the soft-heartedness of my mother and my father, both of them very soft-hearted towards me. Um, and without all you guys, I think without your support, without your prayers, your encouragement, would never have achieved any of this. It's great to see, all, like, see my brother, who's a backbone to me, uh, to see some of my friends as well. Shout out for Teddy. Um, and to see, you know, some of my friends who I haven't seen for a while, you know, they're on the, on the, on the screens, you know, shout out to Mullah Hassan Al-Mudhaffar in Debon, Michigan, uh, to Zulfi Bukhari in Pakistan, you know, these are all close. I was with Muntu yesterday, you know, in Karbala, and I just landed. So, you know, these are all people who've been with us through thick and thin. Mustafa Mas'ud, uh, I know from the bottom of his heart, you know, was very happy to have this as a surprise. I really did not know anything about it. Hajj Qasim, I thank Hajj Qasim as well. I thank all of you, you know, really. You, without you guys' support um, and your prayers, I'm nothing, you know? And, um, you know, whatever that I have given back is, uh, is nothing. Uh, in relation to what was given on the 10th of Muharram. I should never forget that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah whatever was given on the 10th of Muharram, uh, no one can ever give back. Yeah, those were men. And what they did on that day. Uh, is the reason that we continue. But I don't think, you know, me or. Or any speaker. 
will be able to um, give justice to what took place in Karbala. All we can do is that we can try our hardest um, to tell others about the the beauty of Imam al Hussein and what he gave on the 10th of Muharram. And we just hope that you guys can continue to learn from some of the paintings that we paint, um, appreciate some of those colors. You may disagree with some of them sometimes. You may not appreciate some of them sometimes, but it's not about me. Um, there's only one Imam al Hussein, and that's who it's all about. So thank you all anyway. Thank you. No more surprises, seriously. Now it needs a pipe. <laughs> Thank you to all those that have received the award. You know, it was, it was really difficult to keep that. The hardest part is to keep that a secret from him. And special thanks to Zahid, uh, to his brother Murtada, his mother, obviously, for that talk that she gave. That was his mother's voice, obviously, at the end. Um, and no one deserves an award more than... Dr. Sayyid Ammar. So special thanks to him and to all those that have received an award in honor of all the 10 awards. Can we recite a loud salat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad? The awards, by the way, were supposed to take place at 10 o'clock and finish at 10.30. But this is Iraqi time. We're not in Khoja world anymore. This is how we do it. So I really apologize. <laughs> Usually this is how we do it. We have to run late. So I apologize to everyone. But it brings me great honor now to welcome our international guest who inshallah will liven up the whole. I welcome Mulla Mayor Hassan Mayor. We welcome him with a loud salawat ala Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Salawat bin Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Tamam tarifein. Us Allah ke liye jo Hussain ibn Ali ka Allah hai. Durud salam sarkar Muhammad wa Ali Muhammad. Jin ki muhabbat mawaddat ke bagair koi ibadat kya saans tak lena haram hai. And in Tahim Ozzah Samain, Hazreen, Salaman Alaikum, Yali Madat. Subsequently, Abtamam Mominin Kihidmat me Jeshne Chaim or Sarkare Mami Hujat Kiamat Kimabarak Bad Pesh Kartam. Allah Matsalya Allah Mani Wali Hamad Shokur Guzar Hu Imam Hussain TV Kitamam Team Ka. سید امار کا کہ ان کے کہنے پر ان کے اسرار پر مجھے آپ مومنین کی زیارت ہوئی اور اس محفل میں شرکت مجھے نصیب ہوئی پروردگار آپ سب کو سلامت و عباد رکھیں اور اچھی طرح یہ جو ذکر محمد و عال محمد کے ذریعے ذکر امام حسین کے ذریعے جو دین کی تبلیغ امام حسین ٹی وی کے تمام رضاکار کر رہے ہیں اللہ ان کی صحیح کو قبول منظور فرمائے بہت زیادہ وقت ہو گیا ہے اور ماشاءاللہ آپ سب نیاز بھی کر چکے ہیں کھانا بھی کھا چکے ہیں تو مجھے ایک دو حکم ہوئے ہیں میں تعمیل حکم میں ایک دو کلام کے چنہ شار حاضر کرتا ہوں اجازت ہے اجازت ہے تو اگر جا کریں تو مجھے بتا دیں نعرہ تکبیر نعرہ رسالت مل کر حق دا امام نعرہ حیدری 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 اتنی بلند ترین سلوات بیجے محمد و علی محمد صحیح اللہ بسم اللہ
हुसैन बाट रहे हैं अली मौला देखें सब सब अपनी अपनी जबान में तकरीर कर रहे थे मैं भी अपनी जबान में बात करूंगा मैं शुक्रगुजार हूं या अली या अली या अली या अली मैं शुक्रगुजार हूं सईद अम्मार का इमाम हुसैन टीवी की इंतजामिया का कि उन्होंने जबान उर्दू के लिए मुझे मुंतब किया और बतौर खादम यहाँ हाजिर हूँ हुसैन बात रहे हैं निजात ले जाओ क्या अली आप जी हैं आप जी हैं मैं रात को करबला में था और वहां पर पढ़ पढ़ के हाल गला जैसा भी है मरल में हाजिर हूँ सैयद के कहने पर हुसैन बाट रहे हैं निजात ले जाओ कुछ आसो के बस कायनात ले जाओ नारा है दरी हुसैन बाट रहे हैं निजात ले जाओ सारे करबला ही बैठे हैं करबला टीवी का प्रोग्राम है शेर सुनिए कि ये कर बला है ये मुझे से नुमा की बस्ती है ये कर बला है ये मोजिज नुमा की बस्ती है हाँ कफन में कफन में इस के लपेटो हयात ले जा सारे हरी हुसैन बाट रहे निजात ले जाओ अली मौला अली मौला मुझे दो तीन हुक्म हुए मैं एक शेर और पढ़ के आगे बढ़ जाता हूँ कि कहेगा तमाम मौलाइयों की नजर शेर कहेगा शेर में खालिक अली 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 मुके से कहेगा हशर में खालिक अली के मुनकिर से के उठाओ उठाओ अपने ये सोमो सलात ले जाओ अली मौला अली मौला अली मौला अली मौला सारे कहेगा हादरी हुसैन बाट रहे निजात ले जाओ सलवाद बर मोहम्मद वाले मोहम्मद अच्छा इमाम हुसैन टीवी है तो दो तीन शेर आप लोग मेरे साथ मिलकर पढ़ेंगे मैं आपके साथ पढ़ेगा न पूछिए कि क्या हुसैन है न पूछिए कि क्या हुसैन है क्या हुसैन है न पूछिए कि क्या हुसैन है ऐसे नहीं जिसे उर्दू आती है जिसे उर्दू नहीं भी आती वो भी मेरे साथ मिलकर पड़ेगा क्या हुसैन है न पूछिए क्या हुसैन है न पूछिए 
خدا کے دی کا نا خدا 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 کے دی کا نا خدا ہر ابتدا کی ابتدا کرم کی انتہا حسین ہے نہ پوچھئے کہ کیا حسین ہے کیا تھوڑا بلند آواز نہ پوچھئے کیا حسین ہے نہ پوچھئے کہ کیا حسین ہے کرے جو کوئی ہم سریب کسی کی کیا مجال ہے جہاں میں ہر لغاز سے حسین بے مثال ہے یہ ہو چکا ہے فیصلہ یہ ہو چکا ہے فیصلہ نہ کوئی دوسرا خدا نہ کوئی دوسرا حسین ہے علی مولا علی مولا حیدری 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 نہ کوئی دوسرا حسین ہے کیا حسین ہے نہ پوچھئے کہ کیا حسین ہے کیا حسین ہے نہ پوچھئے کیا حسین ہے نہ پوچھئے کہ کیا حسین ہے آخری بند اور کرو گے گر مخالفت غمِ حسین کی یہاں وہ غشر ہو گا غشر میں کہ الحفیظ و علمہ جہاں بھی چھپنے جاؤ گے جہاں بھی چھپنے جاؤ گے کہیں پہ بچ نہ پاؤ گے کہ ہر جگہ میرا حسین ہے علی مولا کہ ہر جگہ میرا حسین ہے کیا حسین ہے نہ پوچھئے کہ کیا حسین ہے یا علی یا علی یا علی یا علی ایک کلام شہید استاد سبت جعفر زیدی صاحب کا آپ سب نے سنا چونکہ مولا سے منصوب دن بھی ہے اور شہید کے بلندی درجات تمام شہدہ کے بلندی درجات کے لئے دو بند پڑھنا ہوں آپ سب میرے ساتھ مل کر ذکر میں شامل ہو جائیں حال غم سنائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے اللہم عجل اللہ علیہ وسلم حال غم سنائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے زخم دل دکھائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے میں غفلیں جمائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے بام و در سجائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے جشن ہم جشن ہم منائیں گے جشن ہم منائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے جشن ہم منائیں گے ایسے نہیں مل کر کہ یہ شہید کی نیابت میں کہنا ہے ہم نے جشن ہم منائیں گے جب امام آئیں گے اور زخم ہے زخم ہے ابھی تازہ مکہ اور مدینہ کے شام و کوفہ کرب و بلا ہم بھولا نہیں سکتے از سقیفہ تائی دم غیر سے نہیں پہنچے جتنے دکھ اٹھائے ہیں 
हमने कलमा गोयों से एक एक चुकाएंगे एक एक चुकाएंगे जब इमाम आएंगे और ये हमारे मकरोरिया शातरा नारी क्या हमारे सोमो सलाद और ये आजादारी कितना है खुलूस में किस कदर रियाकारी क्या इमाम की खाते हमने की है तैयारी कैसे मुंह दिखाएंगे कैसे मुंह दिखाएंगे जब इमाम आएंगे जश्न हम मनाएंगे जब इमाम आएंगे तमाम तमाम शहदा इस्लाम बिलखसूस शहदा पेशावर जनाब उस्ताद सिफ तजाफर जरी साहब मुदाफ़ी ने हर अमैन सब की बुलंदी दराजात के लिए बाबा बुलंद नारा सलाम खत्म हो गई हाजरी हाजरी हुक्म की तामील में अली शेर खुदा नारा हैदरी अली शेर खुदा हैदार हैदार वसी ये मुस्तफ़ा हैदार हैदार मुहम्मद की दुआ हैदार हैदार अली शेर खुदा हैदार हैदार वसी ये मुस्तफ़ा हैदार हैदार मोहम्मद की दुआ हैदर हैदर तेरा दरबार दुनिया में मुकद्दर साज है मौला जिसे परवाज तू दे दे वही शहबाज है मौला बसे परदा मोहम्मद से सरे मेराज जो बोला सरे मेराज जो बोला अरे हमें लग जैसे लगता है तेरी आवाज तेरी आवाज है मोला सफीर किबरिया हैदार हैदार सफीर किबरिया कलंदर उमर हैदार हैदार मोहम्मद की दुआ हैदार हैदार वसी ये मुस्तफ़ा हैदर हैदर खुशा जमीन मोल्ला जखे फिजाए न जब खुशा जमीन मोल्ला जखे फिजाए न जब हैदर हैदर अली शेर खुदा हैदर हैदर मोहम्मद की दुआ हैदर हैदर वसी ये मुस्तफ़ा हैदर हैदर वाह वाह अब वहाँ वाले तैयार हो गए अब मेरे साथ मिलकर सबने कहना होगा अली शेर खुदा हैदर है थोड़े से और बुलंद आवाज से अली शेर खुदा मरहबा अली शेर खुदा हैदार वसी ये मुस्तफ़ा मोहम्मद की दुआ दिल से रखे गदाए जनाब अमीर का खाली कभी रहा नहीं का फकीर का अरे मतलब यही है हाथ की हर एक लकीर का दामन 
न छुटने पाए जनाबे अमीर का अमीरे तो सरा है अली माला अली माला अली माला हैदरी अमीरे दो सरा हैदर हैदर मोहम्मद की दुआ हैदर हैदर वशी मुस्तफा हैदर हैदर मैं सही दमार से मुलतम हूँ कि यहाँ आए मेरे साथ मिलकर इन्होंने मेरे साथ एक कसीदा पढ़ा था मुझे तो उर्दू जबान नहीं आती है बहर ये मेरे साथ मिलकर पढ़ेंगे तो फिर आप सब भी शामिल जिक्र हो जाएंगे हाँ मैं मुलतम हूँ जनाब अली फाजल साहब से क्या है हमारे साथ मिलकर शामिल जिक्र हो जाएंगे बिस्मिल्लाह 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 हमें पता है बहुत देर हो गई है लेकिन बार अली आखिरी में सैद अम्मार और जनाब अली फाजल के साथ मिलकर आप लोग पढ़ेंगे हम आपके साथ अली 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 मौला अली अली मौला अली बुलंद से बुलंद अली 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 मौला अली अली मौला अली अली मौला अली 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 मौला अली अली मौला अली अली मौला अली 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 मौला अली अली मौला अली अली मौला अली हब्बो अली मौलाशी गदाया फम दुदली फी ओ मे हिसाबी अदाया फम दुदली फी ओ मे हिसाबी अदाया वन खुद नारी जहा में रोम तो शफी आन गई रिमाम इन सला ची तुम सियामी हैदर मैं तो क्या हूँ नबियों की मुश्किल मैं तो क्या हूँ नबियों की मुश्किल तेरे नाम से टली अली अली मौला अली अली मौला अली अली मौला अली 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 मौला अली अली मौला अली अली मौला अली कालो राब मेनो मेनो कालो राब अकोल अल्लाह कालो राब अकोल अवल अलेन अनु फिल कुर आनी नजल 
تمت فيه النعمة من رب بنا والدين بفضل الكرار اكتمال علي علي مولا علي علي مولا علي علي مولا علي 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 مولا علي علي مولا علي علي مولا تیرے نام پہ مرنے والے مرتے نہیں ہیں مولا حیدر 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 تیرے نام پہ مرنے والے مرتے نہیں ہیں مولا موت کو خود ان سے لگا رہتا ہے موت کا خطرہ ان کو یہ ہمت یہ جرت ان کو یہ ہمت یہ جرت میسم سے ہے ملی مولا علی علی مولا علی علی مولا علی 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 مولا علی علی مولا علی 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 سالو قلبی ای نزیل به سالو قلبی ای نزیل به قال حبیب لا یشبه احب حفرت في الشريان حروف اسمه حفرت في الشريان حروف اسمه فهو قريب فهو قريب فهو قريب مهما عني ابتعد علي علي مولا علي علي مولا علي علي مولا علي 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 مولا علي مولا علي علي مولا علي 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 مولا مولا علي علي مولا علي 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 مولا علي علي مولا علي علي مولا ملك نارا خيبري نارا خيبري نارا سفدري والهيدر هيدر هيدر MashaAllah, MashaAllah, that was amazing, lovely duet in the end there as well. Many thanks to the dear Mullah Mir Hassan Mir for that beautiful performance. Thank you to Mullah Ali as well. And many thanks to Jafar Bai, he's just confirmed to Sayyid Ammar, he's going to give a nice donation to the channel as well for being on stage. So God bless you, inshaAllah. Um, we are nearly at the end of the night, unfortunately. Um, but before we move on, to a brief closing statement, we've got a raffle. So I mentioned um, that the directors of the gala dinner, those in charge of the show, said I have to do this raffle draw in like five minutes. So I'm not gonna add any suspense, unfortunately, until we get to probably the last three. So the first prize is a 50 pound Amazon voucher, blue ticket, 285. Blue ticket, 285, scream, wave, put your hand up. 50 pound Amazon voucher. Anyone got it? If no one got it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull out another one. I need the ticket, you can't just take it. All right, pull out another one. Orange, no, pink, five, five, five. Pink, five, five, five. 50 pound Amazon voucher, there he is, thank you very much. Yasser, sort that out, congratulations. The next present, is or prize or award, I'm gonna look the other way and pull one out. It's from Cake Tax, Cake Tastic, a freshly made 15th of Shaban cake. It's an orange ticket and it's number 684. 
Who's got it? 684 Orange. 684. I'm shaking them. Don't worry, bro. Trust me. 684. Yeah? Congratulations. 684. Please find someone. Round of applause. Lovely audience. Thank you. The next winner has won a boutique of surprise, a custom-made Quran voucher. Beautiful. Pink. Pink, 125. Pink, 125. Who's got it? Can we have a sister winner, please? Too many men winning. Oh, another guy. Okay, pink, 125. Someone in the back, someone see him, grab his voucher, his raffle ticket. Right, the next one, that was for the boutique of surprise, custom made Quran voucher. Keep up saying it. Okay, the next one is the hub. What is the hub? It's a restaurant. Anyone know the hub restaurant? Is it good? Have you been there? <laughs> have you been there? You asked, have you been there? Where is it? Is the hub in Harrow? Okay. It's in Northwood, it's not her. Okay, anyway, it's food. Yeah, I said, 50 pound voucher. Blue ticket, number 12. We're mixing up, I mixed it for you. <laughs> fixed, 100% fixed. The next is more food, is shrunk burgers. They do sliders and wings. Yeah, I said, where are they based? Where are they based, shrunk? Colander, hello, yeah, I said. Zain, orange ticket. Orange ticket, you have to give it to Yasser. Orange ticket, three, three, three. Orange, three, three, three. No way. Mashallah, you bought a lot of tickets today. Two, two out of, two out of five prizes won. Okay, the next prize is a fantastic one. It is two tickets to the Shia Voice Final. Yes, audience. Okay, the Shia Voice is the greatest TV show ever created. Um, and the final is going to be after Seven Steps to Heaven. Ahsan Tiyasa. And the final is going to be an Eid al-Fitr in a to-be-disclosed location very soon. It's a pink ticket, and it's number 27. Pink 27. Sisters, please. Somebody. Yes, mashallah, there's a sister there. That's one. Congratulations. Our first sister one is a good sign. <coughs> That's Shia voice. The next is Fatima Ink, um, who is a painter who creates art with ink. It's actually very beautiful. I, I should know more about it, but it's calligraphy art. Uh, and it's a pink ticket, and the winner's 215. Pink. Oh, you've got it there. Okay, we've got And there's a sister again behind, I think. Pink 215 in the top right. Fantastic. Congratulations, mashallah. Zian. The next one is a halo hamper. Um, halo is basically a beauty retreat. So this is a relaxing beauty hamper. And the winner of the beauty hamper is blue ticket, number 17. Blue 17. Ali Fadl is doing bits today. But by the way, just as a side note, he has got a lot of tickets in front of him, which means you donated. Congratulations. Allah's rewarding you. Well done. Zian. <clears throat> the next one is a company called Hajabaya. And it's a hajab hamper. Solid. I'm going to dig in now because Ali Fadl has won too much. Can't be. Ah, this is a pink ticket. And the number is 493. So it's not Mullah Ali. 493 pink. Yes, the brother down there. Give this to a sister or a mother or an auntie. You're too young to be married. The next one. Oh, that fell. I'm going to put that back. The next one. That was actually, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. The, next, the next prize is four tickets to England against the Ivory Coast at Wembley Stadium. I'm pretty sure there's two adults, two junior tickets, but we'll find out. It's an orange ticket. Starts in the 400s, 475, 475, winners, anyone, anywhere, yeah, congratulations, someone please see the sister here, that's four tickets for England versus the Ivory Coast at Wembley on the 29th of May.
sorry, March. Apologies. The next one is from Acti Health, and it's some healthy probiotics. There you go. Uh, the winner is not that one. This one, Pink Four Two Seven. Pink Four Two Seven. Pink Four Two Seven. Put your hand up. Otherwise, you pick another one. Five, four, pick another one, pick another one. The crowd has spoken. Tickets, football tickets again. The person who won the football tickets is redonating them, and the winner of the football tickets is 310 Orange. Did you win again? If you win again, you have to keep them. 310 Orange. Who's got 310 Orange? You've just won football tickets. Yeah? Down there, brother down there, congratulations. See him, please. So we go back to the actor health, because the 427 pink has gone, and the new winner is 118 Blue. 118 Blue. Probiotics. Those are good. Keep those. Oh, you keeping those? Who? Huh? He's already giving me some. Okay, we're doing it again. MashaAllah. A lot of generosity, which is always welcome. Okay, we have Blue again, 475. Tell me it's not this table. Blue 475. Blue 475, probiotics. What's this for? Probiotics. At the back. Right at the back, Yasser. Who won the 475 blue? MashaAllah, sister again. Very good. Round of applause. Now we have official Peter Jones signed book. Times two. Times two. 231 pink. 231 pink. Who's got it? Mullah Ali, 231 pink. 231 pink. No, go on again. Go on again. No, gray. No. Orange. 371. 371 orange. Peter Jones. Signs book times two. Is it Mahsin? Masha'Allah, Peter Jones, you're dying for that one as well, I know. Peter Jones signed book. Well done, Mahsin Shah. And then we get to, I think, the best three presents of the night. So I'm going to give this a bit of a mix. I'm going to take my time a little bit of this one as well, yeah? Okay. I'm going to look for Gray. I, I'm literally digging in and moving around. Okay, one sec. Okay, so this is for the Apple Watch, by the way. Yeah. Apple Watch 7, it's a pink ticket. If you've got a pink ticket, hold it in the air, please. If you have a pink ticket, hold it in the air. Fantastic. If your pink ticket starts with the number three, keep your hand in the air. Sisters are finished. One in the middle. There's some sisters there. Three and then a six. Who's got a pink ticket with three and six? Who's got a pink ticket with three, six, and zero? That's it. Well done. MashaAllah. Okay, this one's a pretty cool present as well. It is from a company called AZ Lux. Okay, and it's three hours consecutive return chauffeur service in a Rolls Royce. It's not bad. So they just drive you around for three hours, which is pretty cool. Um, it's an orange ticket. It's an orange ticket, Said Mehdi. It starts in the 500s. Huh? Look at this ticket. She's got so much tickets to check. It's taking them out. What? She has all the 500s. 514, you got it? No, you don't. It's 514. You got it. Congratulations. That's a nice one as well. Keep that one. Okay, good. Fantastic. That's the generosity from donating the other stuff you didn't want. You got something nice. Okay. And the last one, which is probably the most valuable, is a grand prize for the raffle. It's SJ Tours, so Spiritual Journeys. And it's a December ground package for Ziara. If I'm not mistaken, say that might be there as well. Fantastic. Okay. So it's Ziara of the Holy Shrines in Iraq. 
And it's another orange ticket winner. It's another orange ticket. You got orange? What does yours start with? No, it's not you. It's not you. This one starts with nine. We mixed it up. Who's got, who's got oranges that start with nine? There must be somebody who's got orange with nine. Huh? You've got nines? Okay. They got nines as well? The boys have got nines? Okay, good. So, the, third, the first number is a nine. The third number is a five. So, if you've got a ticket in front of you, that's orange. The first number is a nine. The last number is a five. Put your hand up for me, please. There's a few people. The middle number is zero. 905. MashaAllah. That's a seven, seven prizes you've won. Amazing. Okay. And that concludes the raffle. Sayyidna, is there any video to play for the brothers and sisters who are watching at home? My apologies. You could not be involved in the raffle. Who won the Shia Voice two final tickets? It was a sister, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, there's... What? Two sets of two? Oh, yeah, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Action. Oh, no, no. She won both. I announced both. You can't. No, 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 no. You can't. What she, uh, isn't this the whole family? Wow. Okay. Well, that's just bad admin because someone said to me it's two times tickets. That's all right. Don't do it again. Okay. So, that's, so that sister that won the Shia Voice final tickets, that's for your whole family to go, right? How many people maximum? <laughs> the whole family could get messy. How many people? Let's say it now. Four. Family of four. Congratulations. Okay. So we're going to go for that again. Someone has said two in my earpiece. Someone announced four. I said four in front of the whole audience, so it has to be four now. Okay, this one starts with 800, or starts with an eight, and it's orange. Yeah? So it starts with an eight, and it's an orange ticket. The second number's a nine, eight, nine, and the last number's a four, 894 orange. Does anyone have that? No, no one have 894? Radio, I got you. All day, don't worry. It's blue. It's blue. Blue. 411. Oh. Four eleven, congratulations, sister. Well done. That is tickets, four tickets to the Shia Voice final, and that concludes our raffle. Before, yeah, thank you very much. There you go, um, brothers and sisters. We have come to the end of the night. I just have before I say thank you, and we close up. For those of you that are currently leaving, uh, make sure that if you need to put a password in. When you take your car out, the password is Ya Mahdi, which is Y-A-M-A-H-D-I, just in case, otherwise you're going to get stuck. Um, on behalf of Imam Hussein TV, I wanted to do a couple of thank yous before we end. First of all, a massive, massive thank you to our sponsors of the night, the Imam Hussein Charity and local PCR. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you infinitely. To all the generous lovers of Imam Hussein who donated gifts for the Ravel uh, and also the charity auction. May Allah return your generosity tenfold, inshallah, to the team at IHTV for all of the details they've put into play. Um, amazing work. You've done a stellar job. And to all of you who have donated tonight in the raffle, winning of the auction items individually, it's amazing. Just to let you know, as you do leave, there is still a chance to donate. You can give a cash donation at the door or you can sort out a standing order form and lastly, I'd like to thank you all for putting up with me and also to thank the Mawla, Imam al Hussein alayhi salam, for offering us this opportunity and tawfiq to serve him. We wish you a very blessed rest of Sha'ban and inshallah ta'ala, you have an amazing holy month of Ramadan. Keep track of the channel 
and inshallah we will see you all soon and we will end with a loud salawat ala muhammad wa ali muhammad